Hello, hello everybody. Hello Magic. How are you doing today? Happy Wednesday to everyone out there. I hope everyone's been having a good week. Really do. Mine's been pretty good. Productive. I worked outside yesterday in our yard because it was 70 some degrees outside and it was super cloudy and it was so nice. Got so much done and felt so productive yesterday. But at the end of the day, was absolutely exhausted. But it's okay. Productive and that's all that matters. But I hope everyone else had a great Tuesday and a great rest of their Monday. And uh, again, happy Wednesday. So today, more Dead by Daylight. Surprised? Not really because I say I always play on Wednesdays. <laughs> but yes, we're going to be playing Dead by Daylight today and really nothing extra special or extra going on today because it's the last day of the current rift uh i've already completed the rift so really all i'm doing is kind of just trying to get my way through the last level of the tome and uh just to complete it um once it's complete i'll go back until the next tome opens or rift rift and tome um i'll continue to work through all the old tomes that i did not participate in um there's a lot of it i've never done or got stuck at so um we're gonna just try and finish up level four hopefully today i think the path we're gonna take oh uh, we're not gonna finish it no never mind i remembered one of the things <laughs> i remember one of the challenges and it's gonna be a long time dvd i thought you hated the game yes i do but you know it always brings me back no i'm just kidding <laughs> no no and i know you're joking but i don't know what it is about dvd that always brings me back it always brings me back. It can piss me off sometimes, but then, you know what? At the end of the day, it's still such a fun game. <laughs> oh, I have something to tell you guys. It's nothing really big. So, I got accepted into the beta for VHS like a couple weeks ago. And I was going to play it this past Friday on stream, and then I just had to take the day off for mental reasons. And I've been trying to play it on, because it's, you know, it's a variety game for me, so I wanted to play it on a Friday. And I was going to play it this Friday, because I was like, okay, I, I'm going to have a short stream. Okay, wait, first. I might not stream at all Friday. I had to take my mama to her appointment on Friday, but I was going to try and do like a late afternoon stream like I did a couple weeks ago, because I thought it worked really well. It was kind of nice to just come home, relax for a couple minutes, and then squeak in a little short stream um, on those Fridays because I took off last Friday so I was like this is perfect I can play VHS on Friday it'll be a short stream you know and if in case I don't like you know enjoy the game as much as I think I will and all that uh they closed the beta <laughs> they closed the beta because they're getting ready for early access so now I don't even I get to play it until it. I buy it in early access which I'm super bummed and, about because uh, totally I literally just got the beta and I've just oh been so God. busy with Dead oh, by Daylight's anniversary God, event and everything that I didn't I even get to that. enjoy the beta at all. I opened it up, fixed I my settings for stream not. and that's all I got to do. Now it's going into early access here pretty soon and <gasps> I'll play it shit, I guess in early Brad. access instead of the beta. Hello Brad, <laughs> thank you so much for all the shout outs. Both my moms, later. thank you so much for all the shout outs. <laughs> But yeah, that was uh, just a little story I wanted to tell because I had every intention of playing the beta, but I got access to the beta during DVD's anniversary event, and I really just wanted, you know, it's a once a year event, only lasted two carbrate. weeks. I wanted to participate in it as much as possible. I'd get in. Didn't realize <laughs> that they were going to close their beta that soon. So yeah, but um, if I stream Friday, I'm just gonna have to wait and see what I feel like playing now because again I don't want to start any series um reason being the mortuary assistant comes out August 2nd I think somewhere right around that time I freaking loved the demo of that game is so terrifying to me and I loved it so I don't want to start anything because as soon as that comes out I'm probably gonna purchase it and play it as soon as possible so I don't want to be in the middle of any other series that I want to start because I want to get to that one so much faster than anything else hello Denny how are you doing today and Drax hello I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday we're just talking a little bit about streams this week 
was uh vh was pretty good i just played the one match and then dvd and arc took over understandable that's what kind of happened to me i got the beta and dvd was already kind of not taking over but because of the anniversary event going on i wanted to participate in that Level three. Because it was going to expire, there were things in the game, you know, more invested into this game because it's a live game and not just a beta. So, I wanted to finish everything in DBD before, you know, the anniversary event expired, and unfortunately, the beta is over. <laughs> but it's okay, because everything in the beta didn't count anyways. It was I was hoping to play it, to test it out, to see if I even liked it. Because it looks fun, but I... I don't know if I'm really going to enjoy it, so I was hoping to play it in the beta first to decide, and I didn't get the time, but it's okay. Sooner or later, I'll probably just get it and play it anyway, but I am just sad that <laughs> I got access to the beta and then it is no longer a thing. <laughs> Hello, Jax! What is VHS? It's a game similar to D uh, DVD, but very different in, in other ways. It, 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 I don't even know how to explain it. it it's 4v1. Um, same thing, and it's more based like on the 80s, um, you know, style in a video store kind of thing. And then it's just like DVD, except for you can attack the killer and stuff. And I don't, I don't know. I didn't really play it, so I can't explain it very well. But yeah, it's, it's very DVD similar, but very, very different. I wouldn't even put it against DVD because it's different, but it's got the same general idea. Four people versus one killer and or monster in that their case. And then, you know, you just have fun. You just have fun. Madison comes out this week. Yes, I saw that. I want to play that one too eventually, but that one's another one. It's just like... I'm going to have to put it like on the back burner until I get to some other things, and then I'll play that one. I just got so much I want to do and I only play variety once a week which is fine because I love DVD more but I'm just having trouble keeping up with all this new stuff coming out too. I'm doing okay lots on my mind. I'm sorry Denny. I'm glad you're doing okay though. I'm glad you're doing okay. 80s horror. Yes, it's 80s horror. It's, yeah, it's not called VHS anymore. It's actually called Video Horror Society. <laughs> but I'm always going to call it VHS just like DVD. Yeah, it's called Video Horror Society now. But to me, it's always going to be VHS because that is one of the abbreviation of it too. And it's just easier. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really want to play it. It looks a lot of fun. Very different from Dead by Daylight and I'm super excited for it. Just sad that I got accepted into the beta so late and then I missed it because I was busy and all that. But it's okay, we'll get to it eventually. And like I said, this Friday, there may or may not be a stream. I don't know because I do have to take my mom to her appointment. Um, and it just kind of depends on when I get home. Do I feel like streaming? Am I tired? You know, did I get enough sleep the night before? I have to drive 45 minutes there and back, so it's kind of exhausting to me, but we'll see. And it'll be a variety game nonetheless. I don't know what. So. Just, if you guys are part of my Discord, that is where I'll update you guys and everything. Um, I'll probably update Twitter, too. But I'm using Discord as my main source of communications when it comes to, like, streams and stuff. So, that is that. <gasps> Rich, hello! Thank you so much for feeding Sally and also for the head pads. I always go the wrong way. Thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate can, that. You know, you Thank you so much for the shout as well. Songs as you want. What I'm going to we're do all doing is, good. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the song. Guys, finish Stranger and, uh, Things, and all I can say is freaking amazing. Them... Whoa. <laughs> I love that clip. <laughs> oh, shit. Thank you so much for all the shout outs. But yes, I'm not going to talk anything about Stranger Things still in case people still have not seen it. Because it's still relatively new. It hasn't even been out a week yet. But oh so my god, it was about, so good. Uh, so good. The new season was great. I loved it. Like I said, I'm still not going to talk about it just in case people haven't seen it yet. Still pretty new. We'll give it a little bit of time. By then, we'll probably all forget about it. But we'll give it a little bit of time and then we'll talk about it. Or you guys can discuss it in the Discord. If you go to the TV show section of the Discord, go ahead and post spoilers away. I, I, If you guys look in there ahead of time, that's your own fault. <laughs> because I, I personally put it under a category called spoilers ahead. So if you guys want to discuss it in the Discord and talk about it and hang out and everything, be my guest. But just be aware that if you go into any of those categories under that section, 
There will be spoilers. And I'm not going to hold back on spoilers in that section because that's what it's for. But here on stream, I will definitely not talk about it other than I freaking loved it. Amazing. I laughed. I cried. It was a heartbreaking season, but it was also such a good season in another way. I love that clip. That was a good clip. I've seen that clip before and it scared me the first time. I remembered it was going to happen that time. <laughs> Ow. I hit my hand. Um, so that's about all I need to talk about today. We're just going to do the normal stuff on DVD, like Survivor Toy Survive. Probably go play some killer. Um, I got a couple challenges here on my screen that are, or daily ritual, excuse me, that are Survivor. Not going to do the hillbilly one because I don't do hillbilly and his chainsaw really at all. Um, and just get our BP, try to get up to as much as possible so that we can start almost maxing out everybody we've got two survivors left or i've got two survivors left until they're at level 50 that is preparing for the mid chapter release when all the prestige stuff goes into effect so i've got that um working and then every killer is at either level 40 there's a couple down in the 20s still and then i'll start doing mid killers but i'm a survivor main so i focus more on my survivors and then um, we'll work on killers later. I'll put points into them if I need to, but other than that, that is what we're gonna currently be doing. You're on season one, episode three of Stranger Things, and I'm trying to get through it. <laughs> well, I hope you're enjoying it though, Rich. I really do. It's like, it's not for everybody. I'll agree, like my brother, not his style. He would never watch it. He wouldn't really care for it at all. He'd get bored, um, but I hope you're enjoying it. It's, it's really good. It's really good. It starts slow, but it gets better and better. You'll be happy you'll watch it. Yeah, I totally agree with that. It does start kind of slow. And I'll admit, season two wasn't my favorite. It's a good season. Not saying nothing about it's a bad season. It's a good season. But when I put all the seasons together and if I ranked them, definitely season two would be like the last ranked, you know, one through four. It would be number four because it was good, but it was just not as interesting i thought as season one because season one sets up everything season three i just loved like i guess you could say not the theme but everything going on in season three and then season four was just a banger like oh my god so much was going on and you really didn't know what was going to happen like if there's a few things i predicted but i was hoping i was wrong on most of it but it wasn't sadly They're all great, but season two is four. <laughs> I, like I said, I like season two. It's just, I loved it when it aired, but after now watching, I watched them all again. I just recently went through seasons one through almost all of three um, after I finished four. And I was watching season two and I'm just like, I'm not as into the season as I was in season one. And then obviously four, and then I'm rewatching three. I just, about five episodes in. And, I still think it's just the less superior of the seasons. It was good, though. That's a problem. It's so freaking slow and it's losing my interest. Yeah, it starts slow. Believe me. See, and a lot of series do this. It starts very slow and it takes a long time to get going. But once it gets going, it's good. It's good. I cried so hard. I ugly cried. I ugly cried. I love it. It was... I can't say any spoilers, but it was just heartbreaking. <laughs> it was so, like, it was so good, but it was so heartbreaking in the same sense. Like, it, you know, without saying any spoilers, like, can't really say much more than that. Doing Hillbill. Yeah, doing Hillbill and his chainsaw sounds painful. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> it's, it would probably be very painful. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Season four, I ugly cried. Same. Same. I don't know if I ugly cried any time during the season except for the last two episodes. I don't even know if the, la the last episode, of course, but I don't know if the episode before. I had the same issue. I just restart it like three times. It's worth it if you stick through it. Yeah, I kind of agree. I didn't, I didn't have to do that, but I agree it's slow. It, it's slow. It, it takes a while to get going. It takes a while to get the story. I don't want to say get the story going, but... It does take a little bit for it to really ramp up. 
Yeah, season two is slow, but it isn't bad. That That is a good way of putting it. It's slower. Um, it's... I don't know if I liked some of the directions they went with stories, because, like, to not put spoilers out there since I know Rich hasn't seen it. Season two, like, there was this one section where it kind of ended, and I don't really get why they didn't build on that storyline. It just, like, died. And like I said, I don't want to put spoilers out there, so... I know it's an old season, but I know someone in my chat hasn't seen it, so... <gasps> Master of Puppets! Oh, I know! That was such a good scene, though! That was the most, I think, iconic scene in Stranger Things so far, is the Master of Puppets. But its outcome was sad. Season three was great because I liked the whole Star Starcourt Mall. Starcourt was that what it was called? The whole mall was amazing. Like just its overall aesthetic with the '80s and everything, I thought was the best. <laughs> the whole '80s aesthetic in season three was the best for sure. I have a meme to send you. Go ahead. You can either send it to me or you can put it in the Discord. Either or. Either or works. Um. Alright, let's hop into game. Like I said, I don't really have much to talk about other, you know, Stranger Things is a very topic I could talk about forever, but I actually don't want to get too into it because I'm afraid I might accidentally spoil it for those who have not seen it, so. <gasps> Scoops Ahoy, Steven and Rob. Oh, Steven. Steve and Robin. I was trying to say Steve and Robin, and it came out Steven and Rob. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, his name is Steven. <laughs> oh, Billy was good in three. I loved. I him in two too also like i loved him in two he was a great character in general but he was even better in three for sure i'll put it in the spoilers channel it's perfect that's perfect loved billy save hello sk how are you doing i was born in the 80s so the show is so freaking amazing i was born in the 80s but i'm not an 80s baby so <laughs> I, I, I was born right at the end so i didn't even live it Steven and Rob! <laughs> that's how it came out. Hey, it almost works! We could call him Steven, that's probably his name. Rob? I mean, we could call her Rob for short. She's an amazing character. I really love her. Robin. I'm super glad she was introduced into the whole show, I guess you could say. Been better? Oh, I'm sorry, SK. I'm glad. I'm glad you're not horrible, though. I'm glad you're not absolutely horrible, but... I'm sorry that things have been better. I'm a 90s kid? Th that's pretty much me. I'm a 90s kid. Like, I was born in the 80s, but I can't classify myself as an 80s kid. Because I lived one year in it, and I was a baby. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can't even say that. But I love everything about the 80s aesthetic. It's I'm all about it. But I grew up in the 90s. So, I'm a 90s baby. Well, she was kind of a 90s kid, though. I mean, it's it's hard to say. Like, when you're born in the... I mean, you guys are a little bit older than me. But when you're born in, like, the later 80s, and you kind of more grew up as a kid in the 90s, you're more of a... Like, I'm more of a late 90s kid. Not even early 90s, because I was only, like, you know, four or five years old in the 90s. So, early 90s is not me. I'm a late 90s kid, early 2000s, even. 87, 88. So, we're all right around the same age. I was 89. Yes, I was born in 88, but I love 80s and 90s. Same. Yeah, see, she, you're born in the 80s, but grew up in the 90s. Same. I was born in 89, so I didn't live none of the 80s, barely. And I consider myself a late 90s kid to early 2000s. There's things in the early 2000s that I was 10 years old in 1999. So... I was more of a late 90s to early 2000s kid. So I can't even like, or not classify, but early 90s stuff is technically not me. You know, I, I don't know a lot about, well, I know a lot about the early 90s, but I didn't like experience early 90s things because I was like five years old. A five-year-old does five-year-old things. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a dinosaur born smack dab in the middle of the 70s. Ain't nothing wrong with that. 
Nothing wrong with that. Age is just number. I'm forever 12. I I always say this. I am um, I may be an adult in age, but my mind is still childlike. Not in the way of like, you know, I don't think like an adult, but I like to keep things, you know, fresh and young as much as I can. I was 14 in 99. Yeah, I was 10. <laughs> so that's why it's like I can't even say I grew up in the 90s. I mean, I grew up in the 90s, but I didn't really, you know, live until the late 90s? I don't know. Like, when you're a kid, it's different. When you're, like, five years old, you don't know what's going on. You're just living five-year-old things. So when you think, like, when you really started to get into, like, the mainstream of things, you know, like, what kind of music you really enjoyed, TV shows you really remember, um, you know, styles you really remember is when you were, like, late no, early, like, you know, between the ages of, like, 10 and up, when you start to actually be your own self and, like, not your parents stressing you and stuff like that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? My body, yeah, say, my body feels like 43, mine too. My body feels like it's about 100 years old. Especially today, I worked outside in my yard all day yesterday for about, like, four hours. Raking, pull, like, you guys, if you're in the Discord somewhere, I posted a picture one time. Our backyard is in a complete slant. So it's bringing everything uphill. That's a lot of work. So today my body's a little sore, but it definitely feels 100 today. I feel like I'm 80 today, right? Same. I mean, I feel uh, I'm sore today, so it's it's a rough one. I think like in a knockback, like a kid, because I'm a Toys R <gasps> Yes, I'm a Toys R Us kid! Yes. <laughs> Same. I was already in high school when Scarlet was born. <laughs> yup. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Same. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid too. I was planning my wedding in 1999. I was a whole 10 years old. I was planning what? In 1999, I was planning Y2K. <laughs> kind of. I mean, I was 10 years old, but still. I was playing in Y2K. I did yard work and I have a pinched nerve between my shoulder blades. Ouch! Ooh, that's not good. I've done that. I've done that before and that's painful. That is very painful. I, uh, yesterday, I tweaked my back a little bit because I trying to bring all the yard waste up higher up in our yard so that when I can get rid of it, it's closer to the next level. And um, I was just picking it up and then I turned and I kind of tweaked my back just a tiny bit. Feels so much better today, but yesterday, after I came in, took my shower and sat down and it started to tighten, it was, it was painful. And my neck really hurt because that's where it started. I kind of messed up my neck, went into my back, and then I got a really bad headache last night. But I'm good today, sleep and everything. Sleep and everything definitely helped. We oh shopping, cleaning, and moving rooms, right? I remember you saying that. No, I saw that on your Twitter. Or whenever when you canceled stream that one day, that you were getting ready to do all that. And I know you guys have been planning it for a little while, so I know. I know kids today will never know about Toys R Us. That's so sad. Toys R Us was the best. I have great Toys R Us memories. It hurts. Ooh, and it hurts to breathe deep. Ooh. Yep, yep, I've pinched, I've pinched nerves in my shoulders, my back, my neck. It's painful, like, I don't know, like, if you've never experienced a pinched nerve, congratulations, you're lucky. They'll never know, that's true too, they'll never, and then even later ones, they'll never know good Toys R Us. We had a Toys R Us until like five or six years ago, yep, about the same. I don't know when ours... No, ours has gone longer than that, I think. Well, maybe not. I think it's been about five years. But ours, yeah, ours is obviously gone, too. They're all gone, but... It's been a while since they left. I'll take storms. I uh, same. Same. Same, 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 same. Because, um... I live in California. It's freaking dry. It's freaking dry. So rain and any kind of storm, I don't care what it is. I'll take it. 
Yesterday was so nice though. Like we had like such overcast here. Like I was working outside in our yard. It was windy, not like blowing like me over or anything, but it was windy. It was cold. Super great cloud cover. And like, I thought they were storm clouds, but they didn't, they didn't do anything. And it was just like a nice, it felt like October here to me. And it was so nice. It didn't feel like July. But I could go for some storms. Definitely. Water down everything here. Put out some of the fires that are burning in California already. That would be super nice. Golf ball size hail. I don't really want that big of hail, but I'll take some hail just in general. Oh, ours closed for COVID and never reopened. That's so sad. We had, a, we had a store do that too, though. It wasn't a Toys R Us, I don't remember. Was it Kmart? Closed and then never opened because it was Kmart. <laughs> it never rains in Southern California. I live in Northern California, so it rains here quite a bit. Well, it rains here from time to time. We get lots of more rain in Southern California for sure. But it uh, last, well, we got rain in June, so I can't complain. I will, glad you, I will gladly send you my storms. We have them all week. I'll take them. I'll take them. I'll take them off for all of you. Whoever doesn't want your storms, bring them here to California. Let's let's water down our land, especially more central to Southern California needs it more. But it'd be really nice to water down our land and stop our freaking drought. All right. I love chatting. Like, I, I, I don't know if any of you, like, hate the chatting soon screen. Because I saw this on someone else's Twitter was talking about it. It's like, I love sitting here and chatting with you guys. It's fun to reminisce about things. And it's fun to just talk about our day or whatever's going on and everything. And I just love hanging out in the chatting soon screen for a little while sometimes before we really hop into game. Because I just like catching up with you guys. And it's so much fun like talking about like the Toys R Us topic. Like, kids will come into our stream. And even though this is an 18 plus stream, if you are under 18, never say your age because I have to ban you if you are under 18. But, um, it's fun to, you know, reminisce about those things because, like, Toys R Us. No, no kids gonna know what a good Toys R Us is. And I was gonna tell you guys a story real quick about it. Um, Toys R Us for me was, it was something really not, I mean, it was special for anybody. But during the holiday season, I used to go with my mom and my uncle and sometimes my aunt but she worked so we didn't go with her as much but we would always go to Toys R Us during the holiday season and kind of point out like everything like a wish list for Christmas that we would want and so it just it had such a great memory for me because I was like I would look forward to this every year because what I'd get to see my aunt aunt and uncle uh if she wasn't working we would go there, we would like just go through all the aisles and point out everything we want. Obviously, we didn't get it all. It was just more like, I would like this, 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 and this. And then, you know, my uncle would pick out the one thing later and get it for us. But um, it was just something always special, like the Toys R Us, to go there, see them for probably the one of the first times of the years, but and pick out something, you know, and it was just fun. It was just a great memory. And now, obviously, when I got older, that wasn't a thing, and I obviously didn't visit Toys R Us very much after that. But it's such a great memory, and now that it's completely gone, it's like, no kid can do that. Or, you know, I can't do it with a kid or whatever, you know, and it's sad, but, you know, maybe one day Toys R Us will be back. I don't think so. It won't be the same, but I don't mind it all. Oh, I think you, uh... like I said, I love to sit here and chat. I love to sit here and chat with you guys and talk and reminisce and and try not do spoilers if it's a talking about, like, Stranger Things and things like that. It's just, it's kind of nice to just talk for a few minutes and just, you know, let out some feelings if we want to do that as well. Oh, Drax, it's okay. It's okay. I know ads suck. I understand ads suck, but it's okay. Never worry about it. It's only for 30 seconds, but never feel like you need to sub to anyone. I did that with the big Toys R Us holiday books. Yes, I did that with my parents with the holiday books. My aunt and uncle, it was like, it was our one time we got to see them. Um, it was just kind of something fun. But I used to do it with the book for at home with my mom. I mean, my mom, she went with us with my aunt and uncle, but she left kind of whatever I picked at the Toys R Us store itself for them to buy. And then she would, you know, I did the book thing. 
But yeah, it was just something special. That's why I miss Toys R Us, because I, I went there from time to time, even after I was older, to get something for a friend or whatever. If I needed something that was kind of to toy-like, even if it was for myself, you know, I always went there because it was just a special place. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. All right. But I love, love reminiscing with you guys. That was a lot of fun. And I hope everybody enjoyed our chatting soon screen. But I think it is time to move over to Dead by Daylight. See what's going on in the fog and everything. So um, I have two daily rituals, which is successfully open one exit gate with Jane, which we'll probably do right away. Meaning try playing as Jane. We probably won't get this gate open. And repair the equivalent of three full generators. I had done one. I didn't even realize that was my challenge last stream. And I ain't doing the hillbilly one. But the hillbilly chainsaw three survivors. No, thank you. So we're not going to be doing that. Yeah, well, something gets ads, which I hate, to go away. And I get to support the people I joke. No, I totally 100% understand. I'm just letting you know. Just, like, never feel pressured to ever sub to anyone. But I will totally agree with the ads thing. Totally agree with them. Because I love to sub to people to get rid of the ads if I can. But there are times where it's like, I just... I have to watch the ads because I can't, I can't, uh, afford the sub. Was it Jane's booty that stuck out of the locker? It was, yes. It was Jane's booty that stuck out of the locker. Which I was sad that Hattie's didn't. I hate Walmart, same. Well, I don't really hate Walmart in general. I hate our Walmarts. We have two, well... Not technically in where I live, but we have two in driving distance that I could go to. And they are horrible places. Like the town itself, city, is a city I don't go to because it's like, I hate it. It's, I feel like it's so dangerous there and I feel like I'm not gonna <laughs> survive. <laughs> and then the other one is just like gross. Like the last time I went there, it was just like, they had nothing on the shelves and it was kind of during the COVID and everything um but it was just like it was just not a place i wanted to be like i didn't find anything i wanted and it was a super walmart at that and it was just like it was just nothing like i felt like i was wasting my time there and now i never go back i'll just buy if i need something from walmart in general online Sad about Le I know! Leon's I was so sad about. Only, only Jane. Only Jane stuck out of the locker. Um, Hattie's, I think, did, like, right at the end, but not like Jane's did. And then there was really nobody else that has a nice, nice booty to do that for. Okay, so we're on Quentin whenever we finally finish, um, escaping as Jane. So we'll go back to Quentin and, um, and do that. Magic! Thank you so much for gifting Drax a sub! Unlock Magic gifted a tier 1 sub to Sherry Drax. They have given 107 gift subs in the channel. I appreciate that so much, Magic. Magic, you are absolutely amazing. Jane's got a big booty. Jane's got a big booty and a nice booty. I know I'm kind of blocking it. Here. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> we are, everybody loves Jane's booty. Toy Toy still has a website, really? Can you actually get anything on it? Or is it just like a website that's there that's kind of extinct, though? Day four of my heart pill not being there because they're doing inventory. I haven't checked in their pill. Oh, yeah, I know that feeling. Know that feeling. Not the pill thing, but going somewhere for something and them not having it because they're not doing their jobs. I mean, I used to do inventory. I used to do inventory, and believe me, it's hard sometimes to get it done. But still, when something very important like that, I mean, I just did inventory in retail, so it wasn't important stuff. You should step on it a little bit, in my opinion. Enjoy all of your emotes, tracks, and thank you again, Ma uh, <coughs> excuse me, Magic, for the gift of stuff. I appreciate that. It's a legit online store! Really? That's cool that it is actually still around. I mean, 
it's not the same, obviously, because, you know, you can't physically go into the store. But that's actually just really cool that they actually do still have an online legit store you could purchase from. Ooh, I got two flans left. We'll save those for the future. All right, but we're going to try and escape as Jane. Um, overzealous, balanced, borrowed time adrenaline. It's kind of my build right now. I kind of swap out overzealous here and there for, like, we'll make it or something. Which I have. But I have to do gens. That's my challenge. And so I'll just do that for right now. All right, let's get into the game. Let's go. What sort? Toys R Us. Toys R Us still has an online store. And there's a physical store in New York and New Jersey. Those have got to be, those have got to be like most iconic stores now. Those are the only two like real physical Toys R Us left in the country. Sushi bot. <laughs> <laughs> Sushi bot 5,000. I love it. Gerald, hello! How's it going? Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. How are you doing? Just about ready to hop into our first game of DVD. So I don't know what the day has ahead of us, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it's a good day of the fog. Like, Monday was great. Yeah, there was a few matches here and there. You know, they're a little iffy. But I can never, if you don't have one game in DVD that's bad, are you really playing DVD? <laughs> that's the way I look at it. Thank you very so much for the shout out. Okay, door is that's what I'm seeing close to me. Ooh. So I wonder if there is like more. I heard a rumor a while back that there were like some coming back. But I don't know if I don't know how true that was. That was like probably before the pandemic, maybe. Um, so that might not be a thing now. But I swear I heard that there were like some Toys R Uses trying to make a comeback. Yes, I want to go to the lack, lack, last blockbuster. Same. Where is that again? Chilling at the moment. I might go into town for a bit. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're chilling, and if you do go into town, I hope you have fun and a safe trip there. North Carolina has a Kmart still? Damn. Actually, all our Kmart's closed. The one in our town closed a couple years ago. Um, the one in the town over survived a little longer. They're finally closed. I think the other town closest to us, I don't think they ever had one. If they did, I have no idea where it was. And it's probably gone. They had a, well, no, they had a Walmart, but so is the other town, so. That's like going down memory lane for, for as a kid. We were talking about that, that we spent like half an hour chatting um, about living in like the 80s and 90s and having all of the Toys R Us and stuff like that and going down memory lane. It was like, it was a trip. It was a trip for sure. Because Kmart, Kmart was just like a random store, so it's like that one doesn't have as many memories like Toys R Us and Blockbusters, but still, it's a store that is extinct. Like Radio Shack. <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows what Radio Shack is, but that was one, is one, that is gone. It, it was in Stranger Things. Uh, Bob worked at, Str worked at Stranger Things. Oh, I was a twins. Why? Why every time do I get into a game, my first match is Twins, Pinhead, or RPD? But Radio Shack was another one. Ohio! I thought it was in that general area, I just couldn't remember. Oh, wait, it's not in... Wait, we're talking about something else. Never mind, sorry. I missed the first part to that. I thought we were talking about the last blockbuster. Oregon. Oh, I thought it was... Wonderful. Uh, I thought it was back east somewhere for me. I 
I really hope that Victor is chasing someone because I accidentally popped that gen. Yeah, he's chasing someone. We still have the building with the sign from Radio Shack. Oh, we don't have we have the building, but we don't have the sign because something else is in that building now. Little known fact, my very first cell phone came from Radio Shack. Frick. Stuck on a door. I want to kick him, but but I didn't want to because I hate the twins and I hate playing against them. Yeah, go ahead, down me. I just hate playing against the twins. I just hate it. Where the hell were you going? There was a hook like right there. Um, okay. Probably gonna come back right for me. Lost our feedback, like nothing happened. I mean, isn't that necessarily bad oh, though? To Gia. Ooh, ooh, spicy! I literally ran into that while reading chat. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for the shout out. Yeah, Radio Shack is still around. It's just more rare. Like, I think what happened to them is they went kind of out of business, but they are one who made a comeback. I'm literally running on the outskirts because I cannot find anybody. Oh, someone's in there doing the solo one. Well, I found Victor again. I literally have been running around this whole time. Like, I want to read chat, but I freaking cannot find. A gen. You guys have a radio shack? Yeah, we did. Ours went out of business long ago, though. Ours went out of business, like, probably right when they really started to struggle. And they never came back, because we live in a smaller town. So it's not really, like, something we benefit from here but I know not too long ago they were starting to make a comeback Star Stores Return of the Radio Shack yes Well, I don't know if this twins player is just having fun. There's another totem over there. I have no clue what um, totem I took out earlier. That was a hex. Guess I'll do this. This is dead. Yeah, maybe they had an internet issue. I don't even know who it was. It's been so long since I've seen I've seen nobody in this match. <gasps> Thank you so much for the head pads! I saw it there for just a split second. I didn't get to do my I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the head pad. Sorry, I'm missing a little bit of chat. Don't I have no clue why that person DC'd. They might have DC'd because of an internet issue, but I never saw them, so can't can't judge. We'll count it, though. We'll count it toward our count. 
This match has just been really interesting for our first one. Do you want heals? Yeah. Did she get him? This match is so weird. This match is so weird. We've all been injured like the whole match. I can't, I need to find one more gen. She got me once, but I no clue where she was taking me, though. This one's done. It's all good. I'll take that. This is where the DC. <laughs> I'll take this. This is a nice toolbox. All right, guess I'll do this, Jen. I hate players who do that, D uh, DC. Cause same. Same, like I just, like just take your points. Take your points, it's all good. But I don't know, this person might have DC'd because they had an internet issue. No clue. Never saw- I have only seen the Hattie this match. That's the only person I have seen. I haven't seen Jane, or Jane, excuse me, Michaela. She's right above me, probably gonna come down here, yep. I, she's- I'm the only person she's caught! I'm the only person she's caught! I didn't even try there, because I'm kind of feeling bad for her. What? What? What is she doing? What? Hey, right, bye! I mean, she's chasing me, but all oh, the doors are right here. Like, what are you doing? I'm like not even trying because I don't know what's going on. Oh, can I open the door? Can can I open? Okay. So, oh wait. Oh, you want me to hit you with this? Oh, okay. Like that? Oh, is that what you want? Do you want here? Do you want to do something else? What are you doing? here so I, I think she might be doing a palette challenge no okay well I'm leaving I don't know what she's doing I'm just gonna leave Hattie said see you later so oh she got a totem over there but I'll go oh uh, that was weird DVD is weird yeah DVD can be very weird sometimes that I have no clue what's going on Yes, I play PC, Drax. I play PC with the PS4 controller. 
Oh, I should have tried to evade a little bit more so I could get the iridescent emblem. I kind of forgot I had that one on. I thought she was kind of farming. So I was trying to go to, um, pallets to stun them because I kind of thought that's what they were doing. But I don't know. Maybe they're just having fun. I love smashing Victor and Trucaro. I'm so bad at smashing Victor. I'm really bad at smashing Victor. I just don't like playing against the twins because I usually can't get anything done. Fearmonger, Jolt. Oh, that was Devour Hope I got rid of. I wonder if after, um, I wonder if after I got rid of Devour Hope, they kind of just gave up. I don't know. GG's nonetheless. I have no idea what that match was, but it was fun. Did you make friends with the killer? Kind of? I, 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 I kept fight. the killer kept finding me. She downed me a couple times. Every time she let me get off her shoulders, but she never really came back after me. And then right there at the end, she let me smack her with a pallet and smack Victor with a pallet. But I don't know why she didn't like, I was trying to get her to come toward another pallet so I could hit her, get more points and she could get more points. But they didn't really want to do that either. So I really don't know what their objective in the match was, but I had fun. I still had fun. Um, I'm gonna go back and read through chat just a little tiny bit because I missed a little tiny bit that was going on. Oh my god, Circuit City 2, Brad? I missed that one. Nah, our Circuit City's all gone. Seattle and the rest of Washington is all modern tech, all blockbusters, and all Toys R Us, and all radi radi radio. Radio shacks are gone, big sad. Where I live, same. All of that is gone. I live in California, so it's a big state. There's probably some somewhere, but all of it in my area, gone. I was like Sheldon and Young Sheldon. I love Radio Shack. Radio Shack was a great place. We went there a lot. Thank you for counting the... The DCs. DC, excuse me. Oh, McFisher Cups! <laughs> I love your name, GG's! Who are you in the last match? I'm sorry, I was reading back through chat. I missed a lot during my uh during the match, so I was just making sure I didn't miss anything too important. I'm four pips away from Eerie 4 on Survivor! Let's go! I am one pip into Eerie 4. <laughs> I didn't do very much uh, in the way of survivor matches in good form when I hit Eerie finally. Thanks for helping with that challenge. Hope I didn't spook you too badly. Oh, you were, you were the twins. Okay, no, no, you're very welcome. I wasn't sure what you were doing. Like I thought you were farming. So I was trying to like get you to come to our pallets at the end and I was gonna hit you with them. Cause I thought maybe you had a pallet challenge. So that's kind of what I was doing right there at the end. I was just kind of hanging around, like trying to get extra points because I was unsure what was really going on, but I appreciate it. I had fun. And I apologize, like I said, I wasn't sure exactly what was going on. So I, if you got your challenge done, perfect. I'm super happy that you got your challenge done. Cause I know, I know, I know, I know. I love to get the challenges done too. But GG's, I had fun. And like I said, I'm sorry if I didn't catch on sooner what was going on. When's the perk overhaul coming? Does anyone know? Normally, it's like two weeks after PTV ends, I think. So I would say probably two more weeks, but that could change. I don't know. That is just the norm is when a PT PTV comes out, it's usually about two weeks after. But unless something happens and they have an issue, they might postpone it. It was the pounce on four people in one match. Ooh, and doing that legit is almost impossible. Completely understand because I don't like playing the twins. I can't do the pounce very much. And those challenges, I have totally just left. <laughs> I've totally left them there and I don't think I'm ever gonna go back because they seem absolutely impossible. Well, I'm glad you got it done. If I would have realized sooner, that that's what you were trying to do, I would have totally left, like, stood there for you and everything. Totally. 
And thank you so much, Earl McFisticuffs. I appreciate the follow. Welcome on into Skellytown. That makes me scared of the change. I hope it doesn't kill the game. I don't think it'll kill the game. Honestly, I enjoyed... I played on the PTB. Um... I really enjoyed everything that was going on in the PTB. Um, it was a little hard to judge, though, because... People were playing iffy on the PTB, and it's probably because the game doesn't mean anything there, so it's just like you kind of play the way you want. I didn't... Oh! I should have opened the freaking gate as Jane! Oh! I thought I had to escape as Jane, not open the gate. My bad. Um... I don't really feel like playing killer at the second, so we're gonna play another match. But um, I should have opened the gate right there at the end as Jane. But um, as I was saying, I don't think it's gonna kill the game. I thought everything in the PTV was a lot of fun. And overall, I'm excited for the changes. I think it'll be definitely different and a little bit hard to get used to if you've been playing for a while, but I don't think it'll kill the game. I think it's gonna be fun. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna kill the game. It's just gonna be a change. It's just going to change the meta on both sides. Oh yeah, it's it's definitely gonna be interesting. Like even the PTB was interesting. I'll put it at that. But I, it's hard to judge from a PTB too because people play interesting on those. <laughs> Got a lurk making my pasta sauce. Ooh, yum! But no worries. Thank you so much for the lurk tracks. And enjoy your pasta sauce. Good luck with your matches and see you in the fog. Same to you. I hope you have more fun in the fog. And thank you so much for popping in, saying hi. And I'm glad we could help you with your challenge. And anybody, if you ever have a challenge you're doing and you get me in a match, you can always come into my chat and just tell me what you're doing. And I will gladly help you out. I hope so. I, yeah, I, I really don't think it's going to kill the game. I, just, I think it's just going to be uh, very different. Hard to get used to it first, because even, like I said, on the PTB, it was... Doing gens was definitely more difficult, I felt. Because a lot of people were playing with overcharge, which is going to be a massive... perk I think we're going to see more of because of what is being changed. That was hell to play with. Um, I tried doing, like, builds with gens because they're a little slower now. Um, I love the whole conspicuous actions that are coming out. Because I like that I don't have to use BT to feel like I need to survive or help my survivors survive, my teammates. I like that. And then um, there's just other perks like I like that's being changed that will change just, in my opinion, how I play the game a little bit. I didn't play the PTB this time. Honestly, it was fun to check out like the prestige system and it was kind of fun to check out like the perks like the changes that are coming but if i'm being honest i didn't really have that much fun on the ptv it was fun but it wasn't fun like previous ones i always take the ptv as a time to just test things out have fun i don't care what's going on you can kill me you could tunnel me well i would appreciate you not tunneling me if i'm practicing with a perk or something because then i can't practice with it but I really don't care what happens in the PTB. But this last PTB, everybody was like really sweaty. And I even got people in like in-game chats that were like, why did you do that? Like, because I was having fun with the killer or I was practicing with this perk, you know? It's like, I don't care if I survive. No offense, I don't care if you survive because it doesn't matter. Somebody already DC'd. The other TTV person already DC'd. They're like, ew, the game. Screw this, I'm out. <laughs> Versus Huntress. I don't want to go down there because... I don't want to waste my balance. <gasps> I love the prestige change. I don't know where she is. Is she above me or below me? She's below me. I didn't want to go down there because I was afraid... game is starting off wonderful. I was afraid she would be right there. Are you gonna pick her up? Ah! 
Oh my god. Now she's camping? What the heck? Why? Why are we starting this game so sweaty? We've had a DC. She's kind of slugged and she's camping already. Like, what the heck? I don't blame that person for DCing now. Oh, no. I heard no one did. Yeah. I heard this PTB was really rough. One, because of the issue like Maria had with nothing coming over to the PTV for her. And, um... Like I said, overall, it was just not as fun. There was a couple matches here and there I enjoyed. But overall, it just wasn't, like, wasn't like previous ones. Only she's not camping. I feel bad. I can't get to her, and I don't know where Nancy went. <laughs> yeah, I had nothing else to do. This match sucks. This is like an absolute trash of a match. I touched a gen for five seconds just because I needed something to do. She kind of slugged. She kind of camped. Now she's dead because we couldn't get to her and we had a DC. Well. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of took a break on the last two days because I was trying to grind and have fun, but other players said otherwise, yeah. Yeah, it, it happens. Like, I, I took a break last week, sort of. I played on the PTB on Wednesday, but PTB doesn't count, so it was just like a fun... I was trying to have fun. Um, I didn't play on the live servers for over a week, and honestly, it was so needed. It was just nice to not... Now she's tunneling me. Oops. Like, what is the point of playing like this when there's nothing going on? This is like the most unfun match I have ever had, I think. I kind of just want to... end the match so Nancy can live but I'll give her the points Cause she, watch she's gonna go right after me I appreciate Nancy saving trying to save me but like I said what's the point <laughs> I'm gonna just look for totems and boxes I guess no point on working on gens but yeah, as I was saying, I took a break from Dead by Daylight for about a week on the live servers, and it was so nice. It was just nice to not play for a little while. Monday was great, though. Like, in all honesty, Monday on the ser live servers, fun. I had a lot of fun. There was a lot of good people, a lot of good matches. This one, I'm not even bothering doing gens, because what's the point? I'm gonna attempt the save, but I can't even guarantee I'll get there. Be free, Nancy! You have BT! <laughs> I don't even get why they're playing so hard. Even Nancy gave up. 
Like, we didn't even have a chance! This killer just came to kill! I won't even struggle. I'm still silver, you're right. I, I'm, I'm right for- This is gonna make me deep hip. This is gonna make me deep hip because this killer was absolutely ruthless. Absolutely ruthless! points were they playing with no perks what the hell wow and like I don't expect the, okay I'm just gonna say it this way I don't expect the killer like because we had a DC right at the beginning of the match I don't expect them to be like yeah everybody can go free because you had a DC because I don't play like that all the time I don't play like that all the time depending on what's going on in the match and how the match is going I'll let them go but in all honesty sometimes it's like yeah, you had a DC and you guys have like one gen left. I'm going for you guys. You know, you guys had a chance. But we didn't even, like I touched a gen for like two seconds. I don't even think Nancy bothered with gens like I did at the end. I don't think the Meg even bothered because she was pretty much tunneled out of the game. That wasn't even a match. That was just the killer slugging, not slugging literally, they weren't slugging, but that was just the killer totally annihilating us and not even letting us play. I feel like that when you play against uh, Hunters, you already know how the match is going to go every single time I play against one, they're like this. I, Huntresses for me are, they're up and down. Like I can come up against some really good Huntresses. And I'm talking like they're just really good at the hatchets and they play pretty fair. Like they'll knock you down, hook you, go off, find somebody else for a little bit. and. I, I usually don't have too many issues with Huntresses. They're usually pretty decent players for me. That match, though, it's like I don't have anything against what they did. But at the same time, we didn't even get to play. We didn't even, we didn't even get to play the game. <laughs> we just kind of let her hit us and just like, fine, fine, take us. I'm a Huntress main. No, I see, I, I know Magic doesn't play like that. She plays a very fair game. And like I said, I know, I don't know a lot of Huntress mains, but I've come up across a lot of Huntress people, couldn't say they're mains because I don't know if they're mains, who are really good players. Like they're good with the hatchets. They'll go off, do something else after they hook you, like any killer. That was, that, and like I said, what that Huntress was doing wasn't necessarily bad. It's just, we didn't get to do anything. The highest person had 11,000 points. That's right, Rich is also a Huntress maid. Really good player and plays fair. I've never seen a nice one before, it's been a minute. I, I feel that way with um Wraith, lately. I, I totally agree. There will be times where I will go a stretch in this game and I'll find only mean certain players as killer, you know? Um, but I would never classify anybody as um, like all Huntress players are that way. I would never say that. But there has definitely been a streak where I've come up against like a slew of Huntress players who are playing like that. Lately though, it seems like every match I get against um, rates are bad. They're just bad. I don't slug unless I don't have a choice. Yeah, same. Same, 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 same. Like, I don't main anybody, but I don't slug unless I absolutely feel like what is necessary because they're playing toxic. And you know what? Y'all need to go down. <laughs> but sometimes it's like, even like in the end game, when you have nothing going for you, sometimes I'll slug just to get something going in my way. Right side the new Bubba, for sure. Wraith, I have not come up against, well, I probably come up maybe against one good or and or nice Wraith player in forever. Like, I don't even play Wraith anymore because every time even I play Wraith, 
I'm g I constantly am bullied as Wraith. And I don't know why. Well, I know why, because Wraiths have got a bad name, but I'm not playing like that, so why bully me? But Bubba's have become nice players. Like, I haven't come across a really mean Bubba in a while. But if I'm actually being honest, I haven't come across that many Bubba's in a while. I don't complain. I don't think clown players are mean. I don't think any players are mean. I mean, like I said, Wraith players have got a bad rep now because you come across more bad ones, but there are still good ones out there. Like, I always want to play fair and I never get to. Exactly, it's killer. I don't bully unless, like, so, unless the survivors are trying to bully me, same. Like, I don't, I try and play fair. I try and play a nice game. I try and play a fun game if I can. Um, Couple, I think it was last stream, there was like a fang. And a ace, I think it was. That they were just chasing me around. That is one thing I don't like is killer. When I'm playing killer and I'm trying to hook somebody and literally the survivors are chasing you and you're not chasing them, I try to take those people out. Because it's like, no, no, no. The point of the game is for me to chase you, not you to chase me. Depending on why they're doing it. Sometimes they're just doing it for a challenge, but they're doing it in a toxic bully kind of way, then I, you're out. Ooh. Spicy. Mm. I main pyramid head doctor. Pyramid head, I feel like I'm being nice and doctor. I've just been on a losing streak and I just feel like, oh, wrecking some kids. Totally. <laughs> yeah. See, I... I don't know what I just cleansed. Probably plaything, but um, I love playing doctor. But I, I don't like playing against doctors sometimes because I get tired of the constant sound of the doctor. But I do love playing against doctor players. Like, most of the ones I've come across are usually really good. But with doctor, I just get kind of tired of the constant sound in the game and it becomes to me a little much. Is that on the outside or the inside of the building? Outside. Rick and Jake opened it, which is fine. That was all the way over here already. Have they opened? They have not opened that. Okay. I do it when the killer is tunneling. Do what? Like, start to bully or? Or did I miss something in chat? I want the Resident Evil Silent Hill and Stranger Things DLC so bad. Oh, they're good ones. I like them. Resident Evil, fun. I love Jill. I love Leon. I love their perks. Nemesis is a little on the iffy side. I. Never heard that. But it's still fun. Silent Hill. Love that one. It's a good one. Stranger Things is probably one of my favorites, though. I mean, I'm a Stranger Things fanatic. And hopefully for you, Drax, it'll come back in late this year. Hopefully that rumor is true. Because I love Steve. I love Nancy. I love playing Demo Puppers. He is a lot of fun. Oh, chase the killer. Okay, sorry. That's what we were talking about. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. I forgot I was talking about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll totally be mean to a killer if they're being mean to me, like the ch chasing thing and stuff like that. As a killer, I hate when it's happening because, like, I'm not doing anything to you. I'm trying to play a fair game. 
And then they start chasing me. Oh, I'm sorry, Leon. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were hurt. I just like ran away. There you go. My bad. There you go. <laughs> My bad, Leon. Yeah, Resident Evil's already confirmed. I, I missed I missed that one thing where I scroll by in chat that I saw that Joel said, but Resident Evil's already confirmed as the next chapter, pretty much. Oh no, they confirmed it. Excuse me. Never mind. They did. They confirmed it in the um anniversary stream. But the Stranger Things one is still a rumor. And I'm just holding on to that rumor for like dear life, hoping that. Hoping that it's true. I'm gonna let her go for the save because that looks like what she's doing, and I'm gonna try and finish a gen. Okay, there she did. I know we could be healing him, but... Leon! How dare you bring him over here! Leon's, I swear. No, just kidding. <laughs> well, unfortunately... I didn't waste... My balance there, but I had to waste it. No clue where he went. Jake, what's up? This is a gen. Oh, is this a new Jake player? <laughs> is he new? Because it looks like he like accidentally put that down. Then again, I do that sometimes. I do that as killer more. I accidentally push the wrong button because I'm unfamiliar with what the buttons are. being like the least I wouldn't say a helpful person but I'm not going for saves because everybody else is so I'm trying to do gens Leon's doing the box She's got some time, so I'm going to try and get this done. Since I have overzealous currently, that's why I don't want to get hit. Yeah, they got her. Okay. So what's nice right now is um, everybody else is kind of being very altruistic, which is awesome. I've got Overzealous currently on, so I can focus on gens while they do that. Oh, did you want heals? No? Okay. I was going to heal you and make it faster, but okay. See a Pentimento? Okay, I'm going to save Jake. You do that. Damn it! I was 
trying to take the hit. Sorry, Leon. That's his death hook, too. <sighs> Damn. Is that there's gonna be a new uh, I, I'm, I'm reading chat I'm just not commenting a lot on it because I know you guys are talking amongst yourselves but there is rumor that when Stranger Things comes back in December that it will be a new chapter and then the old chapter will I think be available again but the rumor is that it will be an actual new chapter too but again just like Fair warning, it is really a rumor at the moment. Nothing's been confirmed. But I am holding on to that rumor very tightly because I want it to be true. Okay, hopefully he doesn't have no ed. I don't know where Jake went. I feel so bad for the Leon because I had BT, but I started to heal him. Perfect. Come on, come on, come on. Jake, come on, this way. We'll have to keep our eye on Fang, but... What, what are you dead harding for? Oh no! Fang! Okay, we got this. We got this, we got this, we got this. Sadly, Jake is on death hook, but we got this. That's right! Come after me! Jake! Jake! No! Go for the save! Jake! Okay, I've got BT. Go, 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 go! 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 Go, Fang! Go! I got you! Go, Fang! I got you! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Jake was a great distraction right there at the end. I just snuck right by him to go get Fang. I had BT, thank God. So I could get her out. Dang, that was intense. Uh, GG's. I feel so bad for the Leon, though. That was just unfortunate. So what did they have? They had plaything. Oh, they had ruin. Okay, so we ended up getting rid of plaything and ruin at some point. Didn't even realize it, but they played a good game. I'm just happy I could get everybody out. Did I get the? No. Why would I get that emblem? Because I was barely chased in that match. I would freaking love Alexia Survivor. Just saying, <laughs> he was one of my favorite characters. I would love him. December, that would be awesome if it's true. I, I'm hoping. The rumor currently is that the a new chapter will be coming out with a new survivor and or survivors. I don't know if it's both. Um, and then a new killer and then also just the old Stranger Things chapter will be put back into play. So, And it would be Christmas 2022. So I don't know if it's true. That's just currently the rumor. Hi, thank you for coming back for me. Of course, Zero. No problem. I was not going to let no one die that match. Well, I wish I could have prevented the Leon from dying, but you're very welcome. I'm just happy I could get back over there to you for sure. A witch hat? Okay, let me see. I think I've got a... I think I've got a witch's hat, but let me look. Something good this way. But of course, you're very welcome. 
not killing myself. Well, you know, since we're all doing it, may as well. Uh, right there at the end, um, I'm just really happy that Jake caused a distraction because he was running for the door. I don't know why Pinhead didn't hit me to get an extra hit on me right there because I just scooted right past him through the exit gate. And so happy I had BT so that I could get you off the hook also. And you had that extra protection. And then um, luckily I didn't get hit so I didn't go down. But always, I always got to go back for my fellow survivors if I can make it. I thought you were gonna leave, not gonna lie. No, I don't I don't leave if I can help it. Thank you so much, Zero, for the follow. Welcome on into Skelly Town. But yeah, no, I will always go back for survivors unless I have chased out the door. Or um if I'm on death hook, maybe I might not, but I will always try and come back for survivors, because I my gameplay is I would rather die saving my fellow survivors than surviving the only time that doesn't happen is if i'm going for like a challenge or something but even then sometimes i'm like screw it i'll get the challenge eventually survivors come first but i hope you had a fun match i had a fun match i thought it was a really fun match i don't have a witch's hat uh rich I can go find one real quick, but I have, if you can see on my screen, this is what I currently have. I need to go find one though. That'd be a good prop to use. I have like some octopuses that are mean. I've got some masks here. And then I have a crown. I have a pirate's hat, trapper, ghost face, and then I have my masquerade match. match mask still but no witch's hat yet but i can go find one off stream and do that next time never change justin <laughs> thank you thank you so much gerald i'm the same we need more people like that i agree uh, ghost face mask perfect we can do that perfect let me reposition myself but, um, if you were, oh, well, I'll try to remember. Uh, after stream, I will look for a witch's hat, and then we can put that on. There we go. We'll be ghost face for a little bit. But I totally agree, Zero. I totally agree. We need more altruistic people in this game. I know a lot. Like, most of the people I follow on Twitter, or Twitter, excuse me, Twitch, Magic, she's a very altruistic player. All her friends and everyone who's usually in my chat, very altruistic people, and... It's a very rare breed, though. It is, and it sucks because you need more people like that who are going to sacrifice themselves for you. And I know it's not ideal. Like, of course, yeah, you want to survive, but at the same time, I don't care. I want everybody else to have the fun game and survive. If I die, I die. Ghost face! Let's go. All right, we'll be ghost face for a little while. And then I promise, if you want to redeem Propagan, Tonight, I will look for a witch's hat, because that is needed. Um, I'm just not in the mood to play killer right this second, so I would rather play survivor just a little bit longer. And then we'll go play a killer here in just a little bit. What am I doing? I don't want to do that. Okay, I have no more dailies, so we're going to get back to... Now, let's say this. We're going to get back to our normal here. Since we survived as Jane, um, we're going to go back to our normal. The way we play here is I play Survivor until I survive. We go play Killer. I haven't been doing that the last couple matches because I've been trying to do something specific with Jane. But now... We're going to go play Quentin, get on that, and then we'll start doing it um, now. We'll play Killer the next match, no matter who it is. See, unfortunately with Quentin, I don't have BT. I don't have BT with Quentin, so... It's gonna be a little bit harder for me to get saves. Let's put overzealous on. <gasps> Rich, thank you so much for the head hat. I appreciate that. I wish the ghost face one stayed on my face more when I look to the side. Because you can see my face. So, okay. So, okay. So, 
So as soon as we survive as Quentin, we will go play Keller. Um, but this is an instance. So I'm a very altruistic person. Like I said, I love to save people. I will totally admit though, when I'm not running BT, I get, I, I try and still save them, but I get a little more hesitant and I don't maybe make the greatest of saves or I can't get there in time because I'm trying to be sneaky and get there without them seeing me so that you can have a better chance of surviving because I can't run with the BT at the moment. That's what I'm really looking forward to when the mid chapter comes out though, is that conspicuous action and I don't have to run BT to make the save. Like I can guarantee you'll be okay and you won't be tunneled. Ray Ray, hello! Thank you so much for feeding Sally and paying your taxes. I appreciate that. Hope you've been doing well. Sally has missed you. So yes, per in this match, I might be a little hesitant on making saves because I don't have that, but I will still always try and go for the save if I can. And I'll be completely honest, sometimes I forget I don't have BT and I will go for a risky save and I totally screw it up. I did that last stream sometime, I don't remember who I was playing, but went for a save in the basement, I was like, I got this. I forgot I didn't have BT. Luckily the killer wasn't around, but I should have tried to be a little bit more sneaky about it just in case. Thank you Brad so much for giving Ray a shout it's out. It's doable, it is doable. Also, thank you to the new followers for getting me off 666 followers. <laughs> I appreciate that. We were sitting, I meant to mention that at the beginning of the stream. We were sitting at 666. And I feel so bad for the 666 follower because you might be doomed for the rest of my streams. <laughs> you might be cursed and not doomed. You might be cursed for the rest of my streams. But I appreciate you nonetheless. But I appreciate all the followers today getting me off 666. No, 668. We should be clear for a while unless we get a couple unfollows, but that's okay. Dead Dog Saloon again. Luckily, I love this map. Where am I? Ah. Maybe it's in here. I would rank Dead Dog Saloon as very, very high on my favorite maps. Another yellow toolbox. Oh, it's a cloud. It's a clown. I hate doing that gen right there. Because uh, that's a very common place to look at Skeller. That main building. Both of those are really hard gems to do on this map. <laughs> 666 was awesome. B believe me, I didn't mind being there. I didn't mind it. I had a good laugh that it actually was stuck there for a while. I'm over here. <laughs> I got scared that he was going to come for me. Uh-oh. Uh oh, is Clown gonna DC? Oh no, okay. He is had a really bad ping though. He was walking into the railing for like 10 seconds before he morphed back over to the gen. I thought it was DCing, but he's got a bad ping. I want to be the 66th. I'm stuck at 7-Eleven! Get it? 7-Eleven? I like it! <laughs> and I'm like, I'm glad I was stuck at 666 for a couple days. Like, I didn't get a follower off stream or anything like that. I mean, I would have loved a follower off stream, but I was really glad to be stuck there for a couple days, but I really feel bad for whoever was that number because you are now cursed on my stream forever. I know who it is, but... I do feel bad for them that they were that number. Oh. It's Clown. It's Clown, so... They're screaming because... He's throwing stuff at him. Oh, you're stuck at 49? Yo, somebody, somebody.
Somebody needs to go follow Drax. Get him to 50. Uh, if you aren't following Drax, I highly recommend going and following. Oh, this one's done. I came all the way up here for this one that's done. Forever cursed, exactly. They are forever cursed on my stream. Wouldn't say it all over the place, but I'll say on my stream they're forever cursed. You made it to 2245. Let's go. That's freaking awesome, magic. Yo, ma'am. I'm trying to get back to that gen. Wait for the pink to subside. I know where another good toolbox is if I want to go get it, but I probably won't. Oh, I have overzealous too, so this is gonna be even faster. The first few matches of the day haven't been very. Think of this. No, why? I, why did I do that? This I don't care if it's full or not. Gens are done. Eh, what? Nonetheless, <gasps> totem. I'll do this. I'm not worried. Need the average viewership as well, and I'll get. It. Oh, you'll get it for sure. Believe me. Yeah, that is probably. The more nerve-wracking one to get. It is so painful to watch your viewership and try and get to that average. I remember. My goal is 2,500 by the end of the year. Let's go. You'll get there. I know you'll get there. My goal is 1,000 by the end of the year. Okay, this is 99, so I'll leave that. Save Nancy. I don't have BT, though, so. See, this is when it's going to be hard. He's camping. I don't have BT. So it's like I don't want to go for that save because he could totally just down her. Okay, good. Let's all come on. Come on, somebody else has to get it. I don't have BT. I don't have BT, so. Okay, I'm opening the door. I don't know where everybody went. Nancy! Where'd you go? Oh, the door's open. I have a feeling she's right there, so I'm gonna run to this door. Yep, she got out. Okay. She got out! Everybody should be fine! Oh wait, no, that wasn't the Nancy. Excuse me. Eh, she's fine right there. We'll get it, we'll see. But I don't really care if I get it, if I get it. Yeah, and if I get it, I don't. Yeah, it's same. Like, my goal is to get a thousand by the end of the year, but if I don't get it, I'm not gonna, like, be all worried about it. It's all good, uh. Gouda, gouda, gouda. Oh no, Nancy, where are you? Nancy, what are you doing out there? She was at the door. 
I'm just trying to raise my average viewership, but I'm trying not to stress on it. Kind of the same. Kind of the same. Like, I want my viewership to go up, but at the same time, it's like, I'm not... I'm not trying super hard? That's fine. That's fine. I saboed the hook, so if she can get the fake or she can get the Nancy up, that'd be wonderful. This is stressful. Like I wanna, I wanna get this Nancy out, but now I'm injured without BT, and I was able to sabo a hook. I don't even know where Nancy is. Oh, she's way over there. Sorry, Nancy. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. No, you guys! Oh, I got to go. I'm sorry. He's coming right for me. Man, I feel so bad. Like, I did all I could to get those people out, but I could not... Nancy will probably be able to crawl, but I could not do anything without BT. And I was afraid, I don't know. Like, I really feel bad I couldn't get them out. I tried my best. You'll get it easy? Thank you, Magic. I hope so. Like I said, I'm not going to stress over it. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. Both viewership and uh, followers. I'm just trying to have fun. I'm just trying to have as much fun as I can. Enjoy streaming and everything. And try not to stress so much about numbers and such. Man, only that Fang is going to die. Only the Fang is going to die. I feel bad. <laughs> then you got a little toxic clown at the end throwing bottles at her constantly. Well, we get to go play clown now, though, because we escaped. I was doing everything I could to get them out, but I just could not without BT. I could not. I could not get there. Uh, the Nancy said thank you for the save. It was actually a Fang who saved her, but I was definitely in the area. <laughs> I was hoping, like, did she have it? Did the Fang have it? No, nobody had BT! Nobody had it! GG's, though. And... I'm glad that Nancy was able to crawl out. We were able to at least distract for a little while so she could crawl out, but unfortunately the Fang took the fall for it. But I think the Fang would, I honestly don't think the Fang would have mind because she was, she could have left at any time. She could have left at any time, but she was same as me, kind of kept hovering around the door, going back to the saves and everything. So she's probably one of those players who's like, ah, I died for them, it's okay. We tried. You'll get it. Just keep having fun and do your thing. Exactly. Yes. I, I say that for everybody. Like, never stress over numbers. Like, I understand, especially people trying to get to affiliate. I totally understand. You want to get there. It's stressful to get there. But at the same time, just always remember to have fun. Because if you're stressing over it too much, it's going to be unfun. And you're not going to enjoy, you know, what you're doing. Like, you're going to stress so much to get to that goal. And then while you're stressing over it, it's going to be, you know, you're going to have maybe unfun, not fun, because you're stressing too much. You'll get there when you get there. It's all about, you know, finding the right people, connecting with them and everything, and you'll get there. Never worry about a goal. It'll happen when it's supposed to happen. As long as you're having fun, enjoying what you're doing, and building your community, that is all that really matters. All right, so... We escaped as Quentin. GG7 in that match. Like, the clown played really good. Everybody played good. Glad Nancy was able to crawl out. Sad that Fang had to die for her. I wish I would have had BT because I would have definitely risked a save a little more. But it is what it is. I can't play with it right now because I don't have it. 
Um, we'll come back, we'll play Detective Tap, we'll go play Clown. But I'm gonna take a quick break because I have to use the restroom. But I'm gonna get my clown at least here. Um, so we'll go play him and then we will go over and play more Survivor. I haven't pipped at all in these matches. That's how they've been. Like I've been doing pretty good, scaping and stuff, but not doing enough to pip in the eeries. But that's okay. It is what it is. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break. Just need to use the restroom and I'll keep my ghost face mask on for probably about another match or two, depending on how fast this match goes. And um, we'll play our clown game and then we'll go play some more survivors. So if the mods wanna play some shout outs during my Be Right Back stream, be my guest. Enjoy all the clips and I'll be back in just one moment. Extended light mag here, level three. Oh, another squad's been there, darlings. Thanks, darling. Your gratitude is acknowledged. I'm done. I give up. I'm fucking. I am. I'm fed the fuck up. I'm done. This asshole just did the fucking most. Look at my fucking chat. Look at. Look at my. I think kids need to come play with us so we can have a fort with a year instead of uh, some rando. A bone. Oh my god! Ducky, go! It oh worked. my god! It worked! It worked? Okay, it worked. yeah, go. I can, I can mm -hmm. do it. A gen. Yep. Finish that chin. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Hi. Okay. Oh my god. It is... <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's the horde of the fangs. <laughs> to be fair, though, I didn't like. I know I drank a lot of water today, but I didn't drink that much water. Oh. We're letting it happen. Bye bye. Such a pretty game, dude. Yeah, for all real. All right, I am back. Thank you so much for all the amazing shoutouts. A lot of amazing content creators in there. If you guys are not following all of them, I highly recommend oh, every really? single one of them. They're all so amazing. <laughs> I love that clip with is all the fangs, right? I do too. Is that how Blossom's we start clip with all the fangs. I love how she reacts to it. Horde of the floor. fangs. <laughs> I mean... I just love the shout out clip thing. I love being able to showcase I all mean, of these creators. Oh, like, there goes her room. I love shouting them out, but the clips just even just show you guys a little bit of what they are. They, what they are, what they can do, what they have done, and it's just so much fun to see. I'm gonna let the last two clips, I think the last two clips roll, and then we'll switch over to the live screen. We need to sing the piggy song. Yeah. Yeah. We do. Piggy, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your scoop just hypnotizes me, and I just love its flashy ways, and I just wanna boop it all my days. <laughs> Every time that clip shows, oh, right, that I, I always go. get that talk stuck Thank in my head. <laughs> I'm gonna try the other thing after. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Maine. I like Piggy. Alright, and also, the cute little emote on the screen was made by Cookies as well. Just a little hype for her. Alright, so we played Clown last stream and it was one of the last things we did. So he's pretty much all set up except for, I might change these. 
Eh, I'll probably just keep these. Um, so I need to get one more iridescent quality and chaser because I'm not getting it as a Vader. Uh, so I might play not sweaty necessarily, but a little bit to the fact where I want to get the 4K to make sure I can get uh, that, but fa play a fair game nonetheless. Boop the snoot, right? I freaking loved that match we had yesterday, or excuse me, Monday with uh, Piggy. Like, I kind of wanted to kill the David because he didn't boot my snoot. And they saved him, which is fine. I wasn't, like, sad, but I was thinking about it later that evening. I was like, I would have actually kind of felt bad if I actually did kill him in the match. Like, I was like, I was kind of toxic of me, but it was just kind of more fun. Like, no, you gotta boop the snoot. You don't boop the snoot. I'm going to hook you. All right. So we're playing with its complete gen build. Pop. Iron Grass, Ruin, and Jolt. Like I said, I'm going to play a little bit harder because I really want to get the iridescent quality of Chaser. But, you know, if it doesn't go well, it doesn't go well. Aw, oh, Jack, thank you so much for the head pad. I appreciate that. Give him ghost face a head pad. Let's go. <laughs> I appreciate that. Gonna keep the stream up in the background, but it's all oh, Miss Marvel time. Awesome. Well, enjoy. Thank you so much for keeping the stream up and the lurk. I appreciate that so much. Lurkers are the backbones of a stream. Really, you guys are. So I appreciate that and enjoy Miss Marvel. No one's got a flashlight, but it's okay. And also, yes, cookies. She did most of my emotes, not all of them, the earlier ones that I have, and a little bit, or not a little bit, and some of the, um, I think all of the follower emotes are all somebody else, but cookies did all of my newest emotes, and she's amazing. We love her. She's an amazing artist, amazing person, amazing streamer as well when she does stream. So all the love to her for everything she does. And Magic Simotes, all of hers, from Cookies as well. All right, no flashlights. That's a good start. They could find one, but it's okay. But no flashlights to start the match. So, like I said, gonna play a little hard. Gonna try and get that iridescent chaser quality. Chaser quality. Iridescent quality, chaser emblem. And be done with this. Because... The path I'm taking, I'm going to be stuck again for a while because I have to blind the killer 12 times. I, um, I don't blind the killer ever. So I'm going to have to either use Flashbang or uh, Blast Mine for that. I'll, I'll bring flashlights and hope I can get it, but definitely not going to happen quick. I'm going to have to commission cookies real soon. I suggest it. She's an amazing person. Like, she... Did such an amazing job bringing mine to life, and I believe me, I was very um, I didn't give her like super details. I just kind of told her like the general theme, and she brought to life an amazing emote. Like I was just like, I want a cuddle emote with a panda, and she's like, got you. And she did an amazing cuddle emote. It's so freaking adorable. Like she's got such great talent, and I was very like skimpy on the details of exactly what I wanted because I didn't really know, and she still made. Some of my date well, I'm partial to them because they're mine, but she made my favorite emotes ever. Sentences are hard, don't believe me. I know, I know, I got you though. <laughs> I know. Bring blast, bring blast mine, flashbag, and flashlight. Oh, hell. If I have it, you know what? I just might. <laughs> I think I have a challenge in between that, so um, hopefully I can actually bring all that. Sorry, I gotta get my fingers all ready for a match here. Okay, so I'm playing killer, so if I ignore you guys a little bit, it's because I'm playing killer. Nothing against you guys. That was a horrible throw. Oh, I thought he was hiding in there. <laughs> I'll be honest, I thought Steve was hiding in there. Where'd he go? Oh, 
already starting off rough with Cloud. Already I'm starting off rough with my throws. Already having a rough match. Where the hell are you? Oh, it's dead. Where would she have gone? Sprint burst is nice, but not that nice. I see what she did there, though. She was activating her sprint burst. Steve. Steve is going to be a little bit more experienced, I think. Because one, he's Steve, so you've had to have the game for a while. And two... Oops, he didn't go that way. Oh, he did go that way. He's got a fifth year anniversary medkit. So he's been playing since the fifth anniversary. Probably ruin. Oh, no one wants over here anymore. So, I have not found the Nia yet. Oh, that wasn't even ruin. Oh, it's Meg. Well, I guess I'll go after Meg until I find Nia. You know what? I'll let her go. I'll let her go because I do kind of want to find Nia. Sorry. Well, my bad. My bad, Steve. I just got anxious. Promise. I will not go after you no more. Open the main and see if there's anybody there. Nia. You are who I was looking for. <laughs> ah, frick, she went. Oh, I didn't even know you were back there. Holy hell. There was a pallet there. Never saw it. Okay. So I got Nia. I just cannot go after anyone. I can go after anyone but Steve is what I was trying to say. Okay. 
I was kind of checking on. found ruin no they didn't that's not what's going on over here they're just popping a gen ruin is still safe got her i'm not using pop very effectively That gen's almost done, but it's okay. Okay, everybody but Nia is on second hook. She's a little harder to find, though. Oh, no! Did you go to second stage? Oh! Well, oops. Big oops. Well, guess I'm going after Steve. Which I don't want to go after Steve, but I can't find the other two at the moment. I literally ran into him. All right, where? Nope, never mind. Yeah, they're not over there. I'll admit, the Nia's probably got urban evade, urban evader, urban evading, whatever. So it's probably why she's a little bit more hard to find. No idea where these two are. Oh, 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 dang. It's not the Nia, though. I'm out of bottles, damn it. So that Nia was hiding in there somewhere. That's <sighs> good. That Nia is a good player. player she's sneaky and I don't know where she is and she's probably gonna be or get she's probably gonna have this match 
I have no problem with that. As long as I got the chaser. <laughs> Emblem, I'm good. Nobody ever got my ruin, though. because I threw that bottle. <laughs> She'll probably run into Hatch. Or not. She played a good game, though. I don't even know if there's a hook around here, though. That uh, one way over here. Well, you played a good game. That was a super fun match. I hope I got my... I hope I got it. I don't know if I did. I feel bad for the Claudette. I didn't know she wasn't on second hook. Or I didn't know she was on second hook, so... Unfortunately, she... Uh, she got out a little sooner than I was anticipating. I got it! Let's go! <laughs> I got my iridescent quality and chaser. That is all I wanted. GG's. I thought they all played an awesome game. And they also double pipped. Yes, Jill, flash Jill is blasting Leon is flashbang. What did you get on the DB exam? I got... I Sorry, I heard it. I was really in chase. My apologies, Magic. I got a 79, I think. And my problem was... Is what I... I, I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat. I looked... Uh, I didn't look nothing up. I did my best. And my problem with it was the names of things. I don't pay attention to the names of things. Like, there was one about the coins. Um, I can't remember the exact question, but it was like, it was a picture of one. It's like, what is this one? Or what, what does this coin do? And I'm like, I don't know. Purple coin. I don't know what his name was. I didn't know what the name of it was. I know some things like purple coin, yellow coin, bronze coin, or brown coin, whatever you want to call it. So I kind of screwed up on some of those. But overall, I did pretty good. I got, I think it was 79. So I didn't, I'm not going to be in the drawing for the iridescent, or iridescent, the, the drawing for the million blood points. But it didn't matter that much to me. I just wanted to actually see if my knowledge on DVD was good. What did you get, Magic? Did you take it? <gasps> An 88? Ooh, nice! That is awesome! Yeah, my, my biggest problem was just the names of things. Because I know things, like I know them by their colors, their pictures, but I don't know the names of certain things, like the coins and um, the uh, oak branches and stuff, or the branches for the hooks. I don't know what the names of those are. I know them by color. I just don't know the name. So it's like when it asked what the name was, I'm like, purple! It's purple. I know it, but I don't know the name. <laughs> oh, you got 88 as well. Nice. Good job. All right. We played two really good matches with Ghostface. So thank you for redeeming Ghostface Mask Rich. I appreciate that. If anyone else wants to redeem it, I think it should probably be able to be redeemed by now. Yeah, that was like my biggest problem on that quiz was names of things. A few of the answers I got while I was oh while I was on call with Denny and Maria, but the answer I got would have been got oh gotcha. Yeah, and that's that's fine. It doesn't matter how you got it. <laughs> like I said, I could have I could have been like one of those people and just looked it up while I was taking the quiz. I didn't want to though. I really wanted to see what my knowledge was on DVD because I didn't know what the questions were gonna be about. You know, I thought they were gonna be um, most of the questions were going to be about game, like those, like what a perk does or something, because there was a couple questions that were like what century did the twins come from? And I was pretty sure 
but I wasn't positive because it has been a long time since I've read up on um I've read up on lore and backstories to killers and survivors. I got that one right. Unfortunately, I didn't get the Hattie. There was a Hattie question about her lore. And I actually, if I'm being honest, I have not read hers yet. I keep forgetting. Every time I think about it after stream, like I'll do it after stream, I forget all about it. So, um, I got the answer to Dre uh, not Dredge, excuse me, um, Hattie's lore wrong because I wasn't sure because I'd never read it, so. Most were, yeah, most of them were more current stuff. Um, the Dredge ones I actually got, I think I'm all right. And then all the perk ones for Hattie I got all right because I've been playing with them more. But there was a couple, like, lore ones I wasn't sure of. And then, um, there was something else. But I was proud of myself. 79's not bad, in my opinion. For somebody who's very unfamiliar with names of things. Cause like most of these, I don't know what these are called. I have no idea the names of these. This one, Fresh Sweet William. I have no clue that was the name. I just know that it is a yellow flower that gives you blood points. <laughs> that is literally my knowledge when it comes to offerings and stuff. Yellow flowers and I know it's blood points. What does it do? I don't know, but I'm gonna put it in. <laughs> okay, so I assume you can. Oh, oh, no, you're right. No, no, SK's right. Yeah, it was a 48-hour thing. You're right. I remember that now. Yeah. I remember that now. It was a 48-hour uh, quiz. 64 on the quiz because I suck? No, 64 is nothing to be ashamed of. That's not bad. I really thought I was going to suck. Like, I thought I was going to get everything wrong. Because um, with a couple of, like, the dredge perks um i knew the names and i knew what all of them do but i thought i had them mixed up i thought i had a couple of, like septic touch i wasn't sure when it asked like it said septic touch what does it do and then it had like the dredge's three perks on there as answers so i'm like oh, i know it's his i know the name but i couldn't tell you exactly which one it is because it's newer for me and then obviously names of things like i don't know any of these this is birthday cake well no i know escape cake never mind this envelope! Sealed envelope. Okay, so it's a 25 bonus blood point. To me, it's yellow envelope. That is what it is. So there's a lot of things in this game, especially. I just refer to them as color and what they are. I couldn't even tell you what all these items names are. Purple toolbox is engineer's toolbox. Didn't know that. Just purple toolbox to me. So yeah, that's that's why I got such a low score is because I don't know the names of things, but I'm I'm proud of my score. I am really proud of my score, so can't complain. It was fun. It was really fun to take. I want to use Detective's Hunch or I don't have to do the blinding challenge yet. That's my next one. I have to fully deplete six med kits first. Let's play with ways. Let's be different. I don't have um oh, never mind. I don't have a couple of the perks like to run. So we're gonna go balanced. Uh borrow time. I love doing totems, so inner healing is a must for me. If I have it, poised, because we'll be different. Fully deplete six med kits as detective tap. Can do. Oh, I have a new Sims challenge I'm creating for you. Ooh, what is it? Can I can I have like a sneak peek? I don't know what my perks do on Clan. I just know everyone says they are evil, so I run them. Not to sound rude, but you should learn what they do to be effective. Like, I'll, I'll admit, there's a couple perks, like, I've run with. Like, I'm just like, I'm not using this perk because I don't know how. Pop is one of them. Pop goes the weasel. I run it when I'm playing Clown, but I never use it because I'm just really bad with it. But I don't, I don't, if I don't know how to run a perk, I ain't running it. Purple toolbox can be Alex's toolbox as well. Oh, can it? I don't know. It's just a color to me. <laughs> like I said, I just like... Names in this game are so... Uh, you guys know when... When I first started maining DVD, a lot of... Perks, I didn't know what they were called, but I knew the name. 
I was more like, I can tell you what the picture looks like. Like, oh, this is a picture of, you know, like pop. Well, I knew pop because I was obvious, but um, with pop, it's like, it's the perk with the cute little Jack in the box in it. I don't know what it is though. And it, I knew that one else, pop goes to weasel, but oh, our, who's, who, who, who's playing RPD? Oh, we're going to RPD. But yeah, I'm just bad with the names in this game. Money doesn't matter. Have none or a million doesn't matter. But start with one sim. Do not use story mode. No house. Empty lot only. As she max, as she maxes skills, you add one square to the house for each maxed skill. That sounds fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, one purple focuses on repairs and one. Oh! See, I didn't know that. <laughs> I actually, if I'm being honest, I haven't played with a lot of the higher up stuff, like purple quality things, because I either don't have them yet, because I've just never found them, or I'm trying to get rid of like my brown stuff. Because, well, actually, I don't need to do that anymore. I was doing that because I was trying to get rid of all the brown colored items. Because when I prestige, then I was like, okay, those are gone. When I'm getting closer to the end, I can use all the good stuff. So I don't even have to do that anymore because prestiging keeps all your items. So I can actually play with any color now I want. But see, that is how like unaware I am in this game. Like I know how to play this game. I know how a lot of the perks work, but I never realized that there were two of those. Something the other day too came up in this game and I was like, oh my God, I have over 600 hours in this game and I never knew that was a thing or that's how that worked or whatever. I don't remember what it was now. Six hundred hours does not mean I'm good at this game, nor do I know anything. It just means I play a lot and I don't pay attention. <laughs> you have him or her marry and have kids. The family count count oh goes toward the skills. Also, I ended up with a bunch of skills based stuff in the yard while they worked on skills. Nice. That actually sounds really fun. I've been really into The Sims lately too, by the way. Like I've been, I didn't play yesterday because I had a headache after working in the yard. But lately, after stream or when I'm not playing, uh, when it's not a stream day, I've been playing a lot of Sims. Super excited for the new pack too. The kids gave a hundred and twenty-five brown med kits. Snap. Yeah, for a while there, I was only using brown stuff to get rid of them because, like, brown med kit, brown toolbox, whatever. Cause I was like, I'm gonna get rid of these first. He might be coming this way. Nope. And um, for prestige reasons, that's why I was doing that. But now because I can keep everything, it doesn't really matter. I can use whatever I want, whenever I want. Oh, all right, bad. No worries. No worries at all. Take care of everything. Will be here. Right now, my house is 57 squares and I have a family of five. I love challenges in The Sims. I love, like, seeing how well I can do at them sometimes. Once I start prestiging, when the new system comes out, my Michaela and Hattie will probably be like that. They'll w they will be the two I put the most points into to get all that good stuff. But right now, since I was trying to get everybody up to 50, and a lot of these characters are newer to me, I haven't... I haven't put a lot of points into anyone specific. But Michaela and Hattie are my two choices. When that happens. I have no idea where he is. I am going to run back up to this gen. I don't even know who it is. I just know there's a killer on the loose in RPD, and I don't know who it is. Oh, 
hate finishing these two drones on this side, but I'll run to the other side and... Oh, it's Trapper! I don't know where Nia went. It's Trapper, because I just finally found a trap. Oh, I forgot I had poised on. Don't worry, I'm just working. Don't mind me. Oh, they're down there. I have balance on. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, I got rid of this med kit, that's why you're getting it. and almost ran right into that trap. Holy hell. My brain for like two seconds stopped and was like, yo, you're playing against a trapper. Oh no. Well, guess I'll make my way back up this way. I have one survivor left to get to 50. Ooh, nice. Who is it? Just out of curiosity. I have two. I got to get um, Ace and... I forget who the other one is, but I have two. Okay, I am gonna leave because I think that person's going for the save. I'm gonna work on a gen. Unless he's camping. No, he's not. That was unfortunate, but I didn't. I, he didn't actually come into the room I was in, which is even more unfortunate. I want to play DVD, but can't right now. My weather is weak. Is nothing but storms. Plus, my mood isn't going to be fun in game. Oh, for sure. I know the. I know that feeling when the mood. You gotta. You got. Sometimes. Your mood's gotta be in the right sp place to play DVD. And I'm sorry about all the storms. I hope you guys are all safe. And I do the same thing. When we are having storms, I try to stay away from any game that requires online play because I don't want to be that person that DCs because my internet gives out for weather. Oh, Cheryl! Alright! I can't remember who my other one is. I know I have two! Because, um... Monday after stream, I put all my points into Survivors, and then I was like, damn, I have two left. I know... I think Ace is one. I feel like the next one I have is, like, farther down the list. Like, toward the bottom, but... I don't know who it is. I'll have to look after this match now, out of just curiosity. Well, I guess I could run over there. They don't know what's going on with the other two. Hold on! Never mind! Somebody got 
you! As I'm looking behind me. I was gonna say, he's probably gonna be right in my face, but he's not. This is a rough match for Trapper, or map. I don't think I would enjoy playing Trapper on this map at all. she's gonna try for the save I'm gonna try and get the door open there's basement frick wrong exit I hate the back exit when it's not there well I guess I'll go for the door Cause I'm like not the non percent sure. Kate was gonna go for that save. Oh, I hope so, cause I'm not going for the save, and now I'm too far away. Oh, now I can't get there. No. I really thought Kate was going for it, so I just kind of said, go ahead and I'll get the door for us. Hi, Nia. Door's open. Or door's 99, I mean. I wonder if... I wonder if he was camping. Ow! Rude! I wonder if he was camping, though. No, I didn't go over there because I thought I'll get the door for everybody. They can get the save, cool, and everything. But that's not what happened, unfortunately. Poor Quinton died. That was the first time I saw the killer all match. Well, GG's. It was a good match, but I, I, I absolutely. Oh, what the hell happened, Kate? What happened? She was right there at the door with us when Trapper chased us out. I thought she was just gonna swoop around and exit. Wonder if she was just like in a bad position or what? Well, that sucks for her. I really thought she was gonna get out. That's why I came to spectate, see what's going on. played a good game. That was just the first time I saw him all match. I just got lucky. Brutal Strength, Agitation, Score Dance, Mad Grit. That's not a horrible build. That's actually a really good build. But I cannot imagine playing Trapper on RPD. That, I don't think that would be fun at all. Now, I know I said I was going to play more killer today because we're going to do the rotation, but I've got a lot of survivor challenges to do, so I would rather finish my survivor challenges, so I don't think we'll be playing killer. Uh, let me see who my survivors are. I don't have Ace and Ah uh, Felix. I don't have Ace or Felix finished um, in level 50 yet. I have them both at 45, and definitely I'll be able to get there because I've already got almost 500,000 BP. But it's Ace and Felix for my last two. Cause Ace don't like him. Ain't gonna do it. Ain't gonna play him much, so he was gonna be the last one on my list. And then Felix, he was just farther down the list, so I was just gonna do him when I got there. But those are my two. Um, but yeah, since I have mainly survivor challenges, 
So I gotta fully deplete six med kits, and then my next thing is blind the killer 12 times. I think I'm gonna go this way and, and just do some survivor today. But we'll do this. We survived, so we'll move on to the next one. I should go play Trapper, though, because I have an Adept him, but... It's okay. We're going to go play... Um... Let's make our medkit. Our uh, anniversary medkit. We're going to just play Survivor, because I want to get this... I would like to actually get this level done in the tome by the end of the event, just to say I did it when the end of the event came, but it's not necessary. My favorite mouse died! Had to ding out a wire mouse to use until I can get a new wireless trackball. No, that sucks! I hate it when that happens, especially when it's your favorite. I have, to, I have, a, I have a wired mouse, but I would love to get a uh, wireless one soon, just because it's so much nicer. Magic! Pick the killer trapper. All right, we'll go play trapper. <laughs> we'll go play trapper. Uh, let me set up Kate real quick, because she will be the next one. Adrenaline, overzealous, which is one of my new favorites. Balance. Um. <laughs> Numic, hello! Thank you so much for playing. An avocado! For 50 bits, I appreciate that. How are you doing? I could play a circle of healing. I, I'm trying to decide what my last perk should be, but I don't have I don't have BT. Uh, it's so painful when I don't have BT. Let's put alert on. Okay. Um. D. Actually, I changed my mind. Let's not put a med kit in. Let's put a brown one because those are fast and easier to deplete. So we'll do that. But magic has redeemed. Pick a killer. So we're gonna go play trapper, and in the process, we are going to try <laughs> and adept at the same time. Oh, I knew it. I, that was good. I, I love that. I freaking love that. It's so cute. That I agree. Ghost is good at work. Oh, boo. He's trying to stop but I'm glad you're good. I hope you're having a good day at work. <laughs> Thank you, Magic, so much for the shout out for Lumix. <laughs> is it the same ghost? I hope work is going well. This is my last killer to adept, by the way, is Trapper. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. Well, I know why I'm having a hard time because I have either a really bad know. game as Trapper or a really good game as Trapper. It's a sex dungeon. But this is my last killer. I, I I've never adept. Kind of yeah, that's what you think. The paddle of okay, power. I like these two as well for right now. Power, What's this? The paddle of power. Let's do this though. I freaking love playing with um, because I'm really bad at it. I like playing with makeshift wrap because you can't get caught in your own bear trap. But if I'm going for a depth, we're gonna use just these two where the bear trap will cause hemorrhage and then also this one will require, increase the required time. So, let me go change my challenge to just do something else. I used my points I was saving for a keyboard match. Magic, why? <laughs> I mean, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. I'll play killer, but you're saving them. Don't worry, you'll get there. You'll get there. You're a mod, and I don't know if mods actually makes the count go up faster, but you are a sub, so it'll go up fast. I checked on him in the jacket I bought him. Works like a charm. Oh my gosh, the puppy has a jacket? Is that what you're talking about? Thank you, Magic, for giving Brad a shout out. Cause adorable. Um, uh, I'm gonna go this way. Hit it so I threw up in 40 times. We'll just start working on it. I know I've been doing this one back here, but if I happen to get this one done faster, then we'll go do this one. But I don't think so. All right, so for Magic. A trapper match, and also in the process, we're gonna go for a depth, which I don't think I'll get, but we'll see. We'll see. Meh. You'll get there, magic. You'll get there. Like I said, you get points fast, and I don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon, so. Nothing extra for mods, Twitch sucks. Mods should deserve to get extra channel points. Actually, if I'm being honest, mods deserve to have channel points for free. 
Because I think it would be a good way to advertise it. You know, it's like, I not gonna put pick the killer because, well, I mean, I could, but I'm picking my own killer. That seems weird. But I think mods should have channel points for free because they are an extension of your stream and they should get it for free. Or I guess you could say a discounted price. That would be kind of cool. If Twitch lets you discount them, but so that the mods can advertise them for you and not have to like, you know, no offense, don't have to be here all the time and get all those points and everything. They should get them for free like the streamer does. So for advertising. Because I can sit here and tell you about the perk or the perk. <laughs> well, I can tell you about the perk too, but I can sit here and tell you about all the channel points and tell you what they do. But a mod, if they had it for free, they could just do it whenever and advertise a little bit and show like, hey, this is what this fun channel point does. I mean, pick the killer is pretty obvious, but I'm using that as an example. Cheryl has a flashlight, but I'll just go for it. Excuse me, it's Lisa, not Cheryl. But it's Cheryl's skin. I do that so often, like when it's uh, Jill skin, I'll still call her Jill, even though she's Claire. I do the same for Cheryl. I'll call her Cheryl, even though she's Lisa. Bird fight! See that I gave mods free food because they're mods. I gave subs free food too, but at first they did it for only mods. And it advertises it. It says, "Hey, look, you could do this for free if you're a sub." I have to ch spend channel points for it, but using that as an example. Biscuits and gravies with a side of Brussels sprouts being thrown. Oof. That sounds messy. Very messy. <laughs> hey, use this channel perk to scare magic at the best possible point in a scary game. Yes! See, that would be perfect. That would be perfect. It's a great advertisement. And you get some enjoyment out of it as well. <laughs> a veggie burger with a juice box. No. Um, that sounds nummy. I haven't had a veggie burger in a while. That sounds good. Ooh, magic's throwing frog legs at Numic. Oof. Side salads, okay, but oof. That's nasty. I don't think I would want a frog leg thrown at me. No, thank you. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Side salad? Sure, that's not that bad. It doesn't say it has dressing, so it shouldn't be too messy, but... No, thank you, it's big old frog... Well, not might not be big, but the frog leg being thrown. Throw them frog legs here. I, even if I had tried them and they were good, I don't know if I'd want the leg being thrown at me. I think that's just weird. <laughs> Or creepy. Oh, oh, I'll take it. Magic strike spaghetti with a pile of bacon at me. Yes, love it. That sounds good. I took advantage advantage of the break in the storm to clean out my fridge and take out the garbage before it rains again. Got smart, right? Yep. I do that. I do that too. Like when there's storms and or like. Especially snowstorms here in the winter. It's like, there's a break in the storm. Oh, this probably is not a good map for Trapper. This is a big map. Oof. I'm really happy to be playing on this map, but oof. I'm trying to find, here it is. This is a match. I don't think I'm gonna concentrate. Concentrate, concentrate on putting traps down. More. I'll put a few down here and there, and then see if I can find someone. Ah, someone heard me. 
Belisa not only heard me. Damn. How'd she not step on that trap? How'd she not step on that trap? I might have to not concentrate on um, traps so much. Because personally, I don't like setting traps around survivors. Oh no, not you. There's two Leons? Frick, I had that trap right outside that window and unfortunately it's like right off to the side. Oh, damn. I took a swing just to see. You really want to finish this gen, don't you? Uh, now, unfortunately... I uh, don't know which Leon is which. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna kick this. Because they love this gen. Okay, we can hang out by the gen. Yeah, we'll hang out by the gen. That's cool. We'll hang out by the gen. That's cool. Jen! That's totally cool. Eh, I'll leave it. They can get it done. I don't know if this is the Leon that's hooked or not. Frick. Well, I'm going after this Leon because I have no clue whatsoever. Yes, let's run them this way. Uh, I have these traps in bad spots. Uh, uh, well, they finished that gen, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm not doing good trapper gameplay here. Oh, what the hell? Gotta love when they run behind you. Thank you. Now I can pick her up. 
Gotta love it when they play the pallets wrong. Alright, where did they go? They went to heal somewhere. Oh, I see him. I'll be completely honest, I do not know if this is a Leon. That I've already gotten. I think it is. Well, that's what you get for being two Leons. her up but she's got a flashlight that's why I did that okay now she can be healed I feel really bad if this is I think this is the same Leon but I can't find the other Leon oh here he is Nice, dead hard. I'll admit this Yui is a really good runner. <laughs> and I only downed that shell there because she has a flashlight. Only reason I downed her. That's why I let him pick her up. Not camping. Sorry. Passing by. They're over here healing. I need to get the Leon that is injured. Oh, it was dead hard. Uh, because I'm like 99% sure that the other Leon is on death hook. Oh, never mind. He was on death hook! Which Leon was which? Now I feel even worse. I actually thought he had a hook left. I don't know where she went. Okay. I'm baiting. The oh, I baited it, but. Stuck. why she wanted me to come follow her and I did that on purpose because I thought there was someone in there oh this Yui gave up I'm sad you gave up I'm playing a little sweaty I'll admit but I'm trying to get adept for the Leon, I actually had no idea which Leon was which. I'm not gonna get it, because there's one gen left, and I have no idea where they, these two went.
she's gonna throw this pallet. Good job. Hate this house. This house is really hard to find people in. Oh, I thought that was a person standing there. It was a stump. It's gonna get her to go in my trap. Wrong one. Let's go. Plus, unfortunately for me, though, Leon's going to be able to finish that gen. I think I can outplay her. She's gonna throw this pallet. Yep. Damn. I just wanted an adept and I can never play a decent trapper game. To get the adept. Where I think it is with Trapper the most, I swing and miss. <laughs> See if Leon comes. I, I shouldn't think she's on Death Hook though. Yeah. Well, it was a good try, but I'm 99% sure I won't get it because Leon's going to escape. What door is he at? Oh, he's at the other one. He's at the other one. I oh, I got a dev trapper. How did I get a dev trapper? And I didn't even get a four K. I've played so many trapper matches and had 4Ks and good games and I thought that was actually not a good game for me. I mean, I thought the survivors did awesome. Yeah, I know you need Merciless out of 4K, but I thought like to get Merciless most of the time you needed a 4K. Like I know you can get it without it, but I really didn't think I played good enough to get Merciless. Because I think I got some other killer as well. Uh, adept with a 3k but it's you see it more with a 4k because you're kind of you know I wouldn't say more guaranteed but I'm just shocked that I got it because I didn't think I played a very good game like I said I feel bad for the Leons I don't know who was who they both were the same one might have had a um one might have had uh, like prestige, but it was hard to see on a darker map. So I feel bad that the one Leon kind of got tunneled out of the game because I thought I was managing it well, <laughs> but apparently not because I accidentally got that one Leon out way too early. And then at that one point when I downed the Cheryl, I only downed her because she had a flashlight. Let her get back up because I don't want to tunnel her, but I wanted her down because she had a flashlight. Well, you did it. You're welcome. Thank you, Magic. Thank you so much for picking Trapper, making me play Trapper, and I got the Adept. I don't know how. Really, I don't know how. I don't think I played that good of game. I mean, I played a good game. 
But I thought I had a better game as Trapper a while back and I didn't get Merciless Killer. So nonetheless, thank you so much, Magic, for picking Play Trapper. And thank you to my fellow survivors. I am a fellow survivor, but not that much. For uh, hopefully they aren't too sour in the match, but I mean, I was playing the way I was playing because I didn't know which Leon to go for. And I really, really wanted a depth. <laughs> so, yeah, Leon's death was not my fault. It, it wasn't, but I thought I had it. I thought I had it managed well. That's why I felt bad. I actually thought that the Leon, if you're looking at the HUD, the second Leon on the HUD, I thought he was the one I had hooked twice already, not the top one. So when I finally found the guy, the Leon that was the top player, I was like, okay. I'll go get him, get him on second hook, and apparently I must have looked at it wrong at one point, but I thought those survivors did a freaking awesome job. It really pushed me to my limit to get that adept for sure. <laughs> I was channeling my, er, my inner Elmer foot on that one, whatever I said. I remember it came out funny though. I should have probably, yeah. In that map, I should have probably put him in the houses, the traps. Like, sorry, I don't pay attention to chat when I'm playing killer, but that's actually probably a really good strategy was to put him in that house because it's so dark. Right, risk that they take when they look alike, exactly. All right, all right, back to chat a little bit. But um, yeah, I thought it was a really good match. Everyone played well. I don't know why the Yui in that one instance, like she was injured and then she waved for me to come toward her, so I did. I don't know if she thought she could outrun me or if she was going for a challenge. Nonetheless, I still got her. Cause when I finally got her, she stopped wiggling, which kind of gave me the inkling that she thought she could outrun me. But I don't know. I don't know. But I had fun. That was a really fun match and I am floored that I got Adept Trapper because I am done. I have Adept every killer and every survivor besides the Stranger Things characters because I was not doing it um, when they were technically in the game. You know what I mean? Because with them, they're, um, this is all set up, I think. With the Stranger Things characters, you cannot Adept them, but hopefully that will change if they get a chapter, if their chapter comes back. And thank you, SK and Magic, both for the hosts today. You guys are awesome. These names. These survivor names. The Nia is Breed Me Bubba. And the Yui is Poopcock. <laughs> Cool. Moving on. I am at double. I have pip. I'm two pips. Excuse me. I haven't double pipped. I'm two pips into Eerie 4, though. That's exciting. I didn't notice during that Trapper match if I did double pip. I just was so floored I got adept that I didn't even look at anything. And also, I said this in the match. Um, for some reason with Trapper, I swing so, so much with him, like I miss. I feel like uh, all killers, I swing the most with him and miss so much. I don't know what it is about Trapper. <gasps> My ducky clip! Thank you, Brad, so much for the shout out. Wow, right? I know. Did I go to bronze too? So I must have. Zombie snipers, hello, Bubba's hot. You know, if you get the really pretty Bubba, when that you get the Bubba that's all dressed up, he ain't bad looking. <laughs> I like the pretty Bubba. But welcome on in, zombie snipers. Or snipes, excuse me, not snipers, snipes. Oh, it's the song. I heard a weird noise and it's the music. I love Bubba, I would breathe Bubba. <laughs> I don't dislike Bubba, I'm just saying. 
Bubba gets a bad rep in this game. I don't dislike him as much anymore because I've gotten a lot of really nice Bubba's and I freaking love when someone's playing basement Bubba. Fine. Fine. I don't play him though because I suck as Bubba. Bubba in a suit is thick, right? Like I said, pretty Bubba. I love the pretty, but you don't see it very often. Most Bubba's are basic Bubba. Like they've got the, the the outfit he came with. You don't get a lot of like really nice looking Bubba's in our game. Or my game at least. I hope it's a Bubba now for their sake. What am I playing with? Alert, balance, overzealous, journal. Okay, I don't have BT. Because Kate doesn't have BT. I mean, I like this uh, LOD's name too, Sublime Sab Sabotage. That's actually a good name too. Ooh, and we've got an LOD with Proof Thyself. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not running with my greatest of perks that I love to run. Oh no, it's chasing the UA. But it'll do, what is this? I'll be back for you if I need you. Also my trapper match, I did get a couple people in the traps. I was really not good at placing them though. I'm coming! Oh, it's a huntress. Okay, just making sure, because I don't have BT. Making sure she don't turn around. Oh, frick. She see me? Do you want heals? I got them. I gotta get rid of this med kit so you can have it. Don't come back here. 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 No! I was trying to take the hit and I missed! Oh, I was trying to take the hit for her and I missed! Or it missed. <laughs> Holy crap, madam. Sorry, 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 whoever was in there, my bad. Nice throw. Damn, this is a huntress. <laughs> this is a huntress that knows how to throw. I apologize that I didn't get that hit um, when I had hooked you because I was trying to get that hit and it just missed me and... Luckily, she left and went after me. This is a good huntress, just saying. Like, she, she's good with those throws. And I'm very, very happy that she went for me. Very happy. Because I was trying to take the protection hit there, and it... Game didn't allow it. Friend getting back friend getting back into playing Sim. She had all the packs released when she quit playing her last pack. Oh, it's tiny living. She has some catching up to do. Just a tad. <laughs> I know that feeling with the Sims because I'm there. Tiny living. I'm a little ahead of tiny living, but I have because I stopped playing the Sims, I am a little behind. Like I don't have barely any of the kits. And I don't have like a couple of the packs. But, um, yeah, when you get behind on a game like Sims and Dead by Daylight, and, um, they just keep releasing stuff, oof. Oof, it's hard to get catch catched. I can't speak. I can't words. It's hard to get caught back up. And I am sorry, Yui, that I couldn't get you healed earlier. I have balanced. <gasps> no! I didn't see that.
that they were doing that. I was gonna use my balance, swoop in there and get them. No, was she tunneling? And then, um, LOD got the save. Well, she left him again. You're missing three kits at it? That's it? I'm missing most of them. Oh my god, what is going on? Oh, she got back up, okay. Oh, basements. Oh, damn, I don't have BT, so this is gonna be difficult. Uh, but yeah, I'm missing most kits because they just they just they just kept coming out, and I got behind, and then I'm missing like wedding stories and on. Or, I mean, and newer. Frick. Um. And there's another couple I'm missing. I can't remember now. Woo! Let's go. Trying to get away from basement and away from everybody. Hunters, I can't throw things like pallets down. No, I'm here to do this. No, I'm here to do that! I thought I lost her. Sorry to that knee. I thought I lost her. I thought she got lost. She's kind of tunneling the knee a little bit, but she has left her alone at the same time, so I don't know. It's hard to say. I looped a Huntress on money for three and a half gens! Around one bush and one pallet? Damn, nice! I mean, I give that Huntress credit for keeping up with it, too. I give anyone credit when they're getting looped, no matter what the case is, that they just stick with it. Because you'll get them. You'll get them. I have trouble looping Huntresses anywhere. I have trouble looping in general. But Huntresses I struggle with a little bit. Because um, I'm always afraid that they're going to be a really good Huntress. And be amazing with their hatchets. So I don't like to drop pallets very often. And I don't like to um, run through windows very often. I believe I only got hit once! Got the end game save and everyone escaped. I love it. There's a totem right there, but if I'm being honest, no one hasn't been very popular today. Be there in a minute, LOD. Just waiting for her to get lost. Oh no, she's got. I think Dead Man Switch. No, that didn't. That didn't go off though when I left, so I don't know what that is. She needed to move on. Yeah, or I was over. Oh yeah, I mean, I agree. But I also give them major props for, you know, sticking with it sometimes. But there are times where, one, it gets boring to loop, and two, you probably should move on to hopefully turn the game around in your favor. But at the same time, I also do condone them from like, You kept up with it. Good job. Oh, she's got the... Okay, I'm gonna run her. 
not very well, but. Elwoody, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't be doing that, Totem, right there. Well, we do that, Totem, but. Oh, that's not the exit. Yeah, I'm going down here because I messed that up. Oh, that was a completely my fault. I I was backwards. I thought the entrance to that was there. Oh, I'm right by the door, so that's good. SK was hidden next to me while I looped her. Oh, that's even worse for that huntress. She probably could have just like, you know, stopped the chase because she was not getting it and gone for someone else maybe for a second, but. Like I said, I give him credit. I give people credit when they keep up with the chase. I have an adrenaline, so when I get off hook, I'll be good. And I'm right next to a door. Oh, but they're being chased. Okay. And I'll get... Oh, no! I cursed this match! My bad! I said earlier... That, uh, I hadn't seen Noet all day. I'm looking for it. Did Elodie get this totem? She did, okay. Yeah, I was saying I hadn't seen Noet all day, and, um, this Huntress has Noet. Oh, they found it. Love it. Oh, but the Elodie died for it. No! I'm sorry, Elodie! GG's, do I ever find that though? Nice! Okay, I'll open this door now. I left because I was gonna go to the other door. Then I was looking for no one. <gasps> no. No. You can't get over there. I'm sorry I could get over there. Please don't have Blood Warden. She's coming! I'm leaving! That was funny to watch. I bet! I bet! I'm not sneaky like that ever. Every time I hide when someone's being chased, I always get caught. Every time! It's like, for some reason, they see me. I know! I do it so much magic, and you know it! I do it so much! I say, oh, this person probably won't have this. And I curse it, and it happens. Every single time. Oh, good, you're at the door, okay. Good, 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 good. Cause I figured she was probably running right at me, so I was just gonna leave. Ooh, nice build. DHDS. Unbreakable adrenaline, love it. Did the Huntress give up? Every time for sure, every time. I just have to say it and it's gonna be true. I don't, there might have been instances today where there's been no end in the game, but I haven't got to the end game, so I don't know. But I hadn't actually seen it for my for with my own eyes today for the first time. Was that <gasps> they did have blood warden? No, no way out. Damn it! I do that every time. I do that every time. So barbecue deadlock. That was the that was it. Um, no one, uh, no one, no Ed, no way out. I always see no way out and think it's blood warden every time. I like this build barbecue deadlock. I Deadlock's a good perk, but I would probably swap that one. No Ed. It's a fine perk. I have nothing wrong with it. No way out. I mean, GG's. GG's! The Huntress, I thought, played really well. She played fair. Everybody was on second hook before she killed anybody. Honestly, I think she would have been fine without No Ed. I think she would have probably caught one of us. Um... 
Well, she got two with no ed, but I think she would have caught one of us if she didn't have it. But nonetheless, GG's. Fun game. I liked it. She was a good huntress. I was hiding crouching behind a road barrier. A road barrier besides a telephone booth watching magic at the huntress. Was waiting for them to move on so I could... Oh, because I could finish the gen next to them. Yep. Yep, I've done that. Usually I get caught, though. That's always my my problem, is someone will be looping there, and, and there's like a gen, and I'm like, I'll hang out right here. And, you know, wait, get the gen when they're gone, or whatever. And then either, because I play with randos, the random will not notice I'm there, and then run over to me, and then I'm caught, and then I'm usually the one that gets hooked. <laughs> but um, it's still fun, it's still fun to do. All right, well, we escaped. Um, we're gonna stick to survivors, because I wanna get the survivor challenges done. Really quickly, I know Brad said I was in bronze two, and I one pip in, so I must have double pipped on my killer match. I think. I knew I was in bronze two with Brad said, but I don't remember my pips, but nonetheless. I'm really far behind on my killers. Sorry for the name I brought in, AK Poopcock. It's okay, you made, you made chat laugh and you made me giggle, so <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. And GG's in the I'm so sorry, I think it was you. That I was healing, and then the Huntress threw a hatchet and hit you down as I was healing you. I was trying to take that hit, and she she missed, and it got you, or the game missed, and it got you. Luckily, I'm so happy she went after me and didn't pick you up and hook you, but I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for that to happen. I was trying to take the hit there. But GG, you played a good game, and don't worry about the name. It's all good. It's all good. I don't mind. As long as it's not a super freaking offensive name, if you know what I mean, I'm not gonna name one. I'm good. Fuck! <laughs> hey, oh, dead hard. I'm not playing dead hard anymore. Thank you, Brad, so much for the shout out. <laughs> None of these win. You never hit me. Ooh, once. Okay, I'll go check that, that out. Just I, mean, I mean, I know. I it's fine. Won. All right. Yeah. I, I, like I said, I'm really happy she didn't hook you, too. I'm just really happy she didn't hook you. Because I tried to get it. I tried to get the hit. I saw her coming. I got off healing you. I was like, I got this. I got this. And then it hit you. And I was like, damn it. <laughs> damn it. Just run away. Just run away. And then I accidentally sandbagged somebody who was near old Jen. And I was like, damn it. I'm just being a horrible survivor. Being a horrible survivor. But I thought everyone played good. It was a really fun game. The Huntress did really well. I'm sorry. It was my fault. She had no ed. I cursed it. Because I said I hadn't seen no ed today, and boom, she had no ed. I try not to do that. I try not to say that, because I make it happen every time. I mean, why would you want a poop cock, though? True? But at least it's not offensive name. I mean... Poop noodle. <laughs> I don't have an 18 command, but I should put one in. My stream is 18 plus. And it's, when you first come into my channel, you have to, it's on there as a warning, but I should have a command that says that. Ah, not dead hard. I'm just setting up for my next match. Um, I'm trying to get this one. So unfortunately, again, I don't have BT. Adam doesn't have it. So... Should I put Botany in? Let's put Botany in, because I have to do deplete medkits, so... Why not get a little bit of extra help with it while it's actually a thing? Because uh, that's going to be going away here pretty soon. So we're going to play with... Uh, we're going to go with a healing build. We'll make it, prove thyself, resilience, Botany knowledge, because I don't have BT, and I don't have adrenaline, and I don't have balanced. And yeah. Yeah, I should. It's a good idea. Yeah, I, I really should. I've just never really put one in because I've never had an issue with it, you know, per se, but it's a good idea to have one. So if I can remember tonight, I, I need to find a witch's hat for my prop and I need to write up an 18 plus command. Oh, where'd you post it, Brad? I was going to go look. Ah, oh, never mind. Ooh, I love it! I love it! 
Holy crap, that's beautiful. Personally, teal is my second favorite color. So purple and teal together, even better. SK's favorite color is teal. Nice, love it. Teal is my second favorite color. Well, it's my second favorite color, but I also really like dark, like maroon, like dark red. It's my other favorite color too. But purple and teal together are just mwah. I love them. Many hours of breeding to get them colors. That's like Animal Crossing. <laughs> not necessarily, not to get the color, but I like to breed flowers in Animal Crossing because I just like to, just like to do it. It's just kind of fun. I don't know why. And I swear, it takes me forever sometimes to get a certain color of flower. Reminder, thank you, Magic. Thank you so much for posting in Mods Chat because y'all know my memory. I will try. If I don't do it today, I'll do it before next stream. I'm going to try and do it tonight, though. Get that up. And then I'll let you guys know in Mods Chat when it's up. Oh, my favorite color is actually blue, but all shades of blue. Okay, gotcha. Nice, though. It's like, my favorite color is purple, and I like all shades of purple. Not just, like, dark purple, light purple, purple. Could be any color, and I'm good. I, do, I like teal because my favorite hockey team is teal, but that's not why. I really love the color. Frick, I love the color. And then I like maroon a lot, but I don't really like... I like the color red, but if I'm picking color of red, maroonish colors are beautiful, I think. Okay. Well, good luck to everybody. And if anyone in my last match was still here, GG's in the fog, or GG, <laughs> good luck in the fog, and GG's from the last game. It was a really fun match, and it was, I had a lot of fun playing with you guys. But good luck in your future matches, and hopefully you have... Or good luck in the fog. Do I have new? No. I'm gonna leave that totem there. If someone has a circle of healing, that's a really good one. Cause it's kind of center. And then I'll know what's there, cause it's always it's not always there, but it's a very popular one. Peach, peach is we can name the shark Peach. I like that. <laughs> Wait, sharks has teal? That's their main color, like the hockey team? Yeah, that's their main color. If that's what you're saying. That's their main color. Their main color is teal, and then their alternate colors are like orange and... Well, orange. But black and white, like most teams are black and white. Or have some form of black and white. I'm going this way in case the killer hears that and goes straight for the open door. I have absolutely no clue who it is yet. I know they're on hook, but I'm gonna see if I can help with this for a sec and then we'll go get that. I got a second. Oh, gotcha. Yep, their, their main color is teal. And like their secondary colors, orange, and most NHL teams have black and white, some sort. Uh, why aren't you he- what? Why aren't you getting them off the hook? What the hell is your problem, Nia? She stood there, didn't get that other Adam off the hook, and then just got in and out of a locker to bring him toward us. I'm not gonna go save her! I don't know if 
she was doing that to be mean, but I go save her. Because she literally just stood there. I don't know. <gasps> I got two friends to buy DVD while it's on sale. Nice. Let's go. Uh, only eight bucks. Yeah, it's a good sale right now. That's awesome. More friends to play with. Yeah, I'm not going for that, Nia. And now she's killing herself. I don't know what the context of that was. But, in my opinion, she stood there with the atom was on hook, didn't unhook them, and then as I was going for the unhook, she kept getting in and out of the locker and making a loud noise, drawing the killer toward us. So my bet is she was doing that on purpose and I'm not going to save her because of it. I could be wrong. I could be being absolutely bitch about it. But I'm going to take it and I'm going to run. I don't have BT, unfortunately. Um... I like how the other Meg didn't even go for her. Um, I, d I don't, I just don't know. I don't know what the point to that was. Oh, basement hook. Or back hook. <laughs> yes, it's basement. Come on. Come on, fellow Adam. You go where you want to go. No! Sorry, I wasn't trying to get in your way. And he's kind of tunneling, which is unfortunate. That poor guy. I didn't have BT, but it would have ran out anyway. No clue where Meg is. Where is barbecue? I bought the unlimited edition of Ex Assassin's Creed Odyssey for the PC for thirty bucks in the orig. Oh, damn! And the original price was one nineteen. What a sale! I would have done it too. I love sales. I mean, me and sales. It was a weird match. Oops, sorry. Thought I was closer. I'm not gonna fully deplete my bed kit, unfortunately, because it's just me at this Meg. And he ain't giving a crap that she was just unhooked. I'm gonna try and make my way over to her, but I don't know if I'll get there. This just be one of the matches. It's weird. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get here. I'm gonna do my best. Nice, nice spicy totem there. Well. Oh, you're not even healing. This person wasn't even healing. This was just like a mess of a match. I don't know if she gave up, but she was. Why hit me? I didn't do nothing. This is the first time I've seen you all match. 4%? 4%? four percent? Damn it. I tried. Your solo queue teammates suck. This match they did. Well, I don't know, really? I don't know. The poor Adam, the 
the other Adam in the match was tunneled out of the game. I don't think he really got to do anything. The Nia was just a bitch, I think. I think she did that on purpose to get us killed. Uh, Meg, I don't know. I don't... She did gens. She was doing a good job. Just overall, the match was just not good. They were only playing with Dragon's Grip. Oh, his play thing I saw. Today, though, I've had a lot of good luck in solo queue. I've had a lot of good survivors. Pretty good killers. This was the first match that's just like... Uh, I don't couldn't even explain to you what happened. Couldn't even explain to you what happened there. If that Meg, Meg was healing, I probably could have got her up. Because I, it took me a while to get to her, but I don't think she really was. She might have been given up. Honestly, she might have been giving up knowing that she was on death hook. I was the only survivor left, you know, kind of thing. Because I've done that before. It's like, screw it. I ain't going to heal. But I always try. But that Mia, she was sus, so I let her die. That was meat of me, but... I don't think she was going to contribute anyway, so. Can't say anything against the Blight. I mean, he kind of tunneled, but... Maybe he just kept running in? Well, even that, I don't think you should do that. I've had instances in killer games where um, I've kind of kept running into the same person over and over, and I'll just let him go. Like, I see him, I'm like, oh, hi, Meg! It's you again! And then I go along my way and find somebody else, but then usually at the end game I regret that. End game's happening and then nobody's dead and I'm like, well, I could have got that Meg out earlier, but... I'm free! Yay! I'm going to drive and I'll be back later. Alright, sounds good, Magic. Have a safe drive home. Thank you so much for being here today and being absolutely amazing. And if I don't see you back here, I will, what's today, Wednesday? If you're streaming, I will see you on your stream tonight. I de-pipped for that too. I hate that. I don't mind de-pipping if I go up against the killer. That's just freaking amazing at the game. But I hate de-pipping when it wasn't my fault. But it is what it is. Against Wilds, would you deep hip? If you were, welcome on in, Raiders. I'm back! Welcome back! How was everything since you've last been here? How was the rest of your DVD games? This? Oh, it's an Emmy. Okay. But thank you so much for the host and welcome on in, everybody. I don't like doing this gen right here. It's scary. But yes, how was the rest of your matches? Did you have some fun DVD games? Ah, boon. There's a boon right... Not boon, excuse me. A totem right there. But being that there is... Someone with a boon in game, I'll probably leave it. Wait, maybe I can still make a play with flip flop. Thank you, Brad, so much for giving Zero a shout out. I think the heartbeat of here is in the clip. <laughs> I'm gonna go with it is. Yep, she's gonna bless that. Okay. Believe in the flip flop. Here, I'm gonna do this. Believe in the flip flop. I'm gonna wait for her to bless it. Oh. 
They didn't want to pop that while you were doing that and him come over here, so... I didn't notice what it was. Circle of healing, I'm assuming? I'm gonna run on the outskirts of the map. But again, thank you so much for the host and welcome on in, everybody. I hope you had a fun time in the fog. And if you were streaming, thank you so much for the raid slash host. I appreciate it. And welcome on in, everybody. Hope you just teared up. He was gonna loop back around. <gasps> Michaela, what are you doing here? Where the hell did Michaela come from? I got face camped twice, but the rest were okay. Well, that sucks, though. They get face camped. It was interesting, though. Sorry, the zombie frickin' scared me. <laughs> trying to wait for that zombie to leave. Well, I'm glad your names were still good, though. Yes, face camping. Definitely never fun. My last match was a mess. I think we had a survivor who was pretty much sabotaging, sabotaging the game. Cause she wasn't unhooking a poor Adam that was literally right in front of her. And then as soon as I went in for the save, she jumped in and out of the locker four or five times as I was saving someone. So I think she was just a bleed survivor. How have your games been? Honestly, other than the last game, pretty good. I cannot complain about any of them. I've had some good teammates. I had some really good killers who just like overall <laughs> frick that. Uh, we're good. <sighs> Damn you. But other than the last match, can't complain. Had some really good games. Does he have barbecue? Let's see if he comes right for me. <laughs> oh, I just like watched him take out that zombie. That was hilarious. <laughs> he just walked into that zombie and just like, get out of my way. And now I can finish this gen. I love I love when Nemesis does that. Nemesis does that. Yeah, those are words. That's nice minus the last game. Yeah, yeah. That I don't. I don't even. I can't even say for sure that's what that Dia was doing. It just seemed so sus and it was kind of rude. And so when she got hooked, I I left her there, and that kind of was just the match. The blight that ended up kind of tunneling. The Adam that I unhooked, I didn't have BT, so that sucked for him. And then right at the end, the Meg wasn't healing herself. So it's like, well, I tried to get her up. So it was just awkward. So yeah, but other than that, games have been good. I've been really enjoying DVD today. Kind of had a camping clown. I can't remember. When that was, but it was an end game thing, so. But knock on wood. <laughs> I'm gonna say it, it's gonna happen now. I haven't had a lot of campers today. Tunneling? 
Yes. Camping? Some? Do, do better, Meg, do better. I know, right? <coughs> like, this match is a little... Interesting. I don't have BT, I don't have BT, I don't have BT, run! <coughs> I need to use this medkit. I'm gonna be super fast here! <gasps> Look how fast I am! I had a med kit, circle of healing, and we'll make it. She was healed in record time. I just needed to get rid of my med kit. I'm free! Go, 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 go. Oh, you got a med kit. Or med kit. You've got a flashlight. I do not have balance. <coughs> oh. Bye! <coughs> cool! Bye! I'm going over here! I think that might have been also Shadow Step. Okay, well, I was trying to get to uh, Jen, but they are done. I have no idea where everybody went. Ooh, we've got doors on the same. Uh, I'm opening this door with my mind. I'm opening this door with my mind right now. Open sesame. I'm gonna open it. I don't have anything to sabo that. Everybody's injured. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. I'm gonna run over here and see if this is a med kit. This is a really difficult situation right now. For me. It is a med kit. Because I don't have BT. I'm going to heal myself because I'll get rid of this med kit. Oh, everybody's getting out. Okay, well, the door is open then. Oh my god, did he DC? Wait. Wait a minute. I'm going to be very mad if this nemesis DC'd. I was trying to get my med finish for my challenge you a-hole <laughs> well gg i guess i found a brown med kit and i was just gonna heal myself to get it because i have the challenge of finish med kit you know finish med kit and game was over we were all gonna escape probably and i was gonna get one more med kit finish and you dc'd the nerve uh, speed i know that was super speed not only was i in a boon i was in a boon wait a minute wait a minute i had we'll make it i was in a boon i also had botany knowledge so i was super speed that was freaking awesome but i was doing it because give her the med kit i knew you was a witch opening the door with your butt i know i was good opening that door <laughs> opening the door with my mind that was fun Nice job, girl. Uh, thank you. Thank you. It's a good match. Like, everything was going so well. Everything was going so well. I am just mad that they DC'd there at the end because I could have depleted another med kit. And I was standing at the door anyway, so I was going to escape. 
I hate it when killers DC with the match is pretty much over. It's like, just take your points. Why DC? Now you're sitting in a five minute timeout. I'm just mad that I didn't get to deplete my med kit. I wonder if they're. No, never mind. That's Sterling Tremors. Never mind. Well, GG to everyone in that match. I thought everyone played awesome. Personally, I thought everyone played really good. Survivors were good. Killer was doing a really good job. He wasn't going to get a 4K. But damn, he was playing good. Just makes me sad. It makes me sad to see that someone felt like they had to DC right at the end like that. Thank you, Brad, so much for giving Lemon Lust a shout out. All right, well, we survived, so we get to go play as Jeff now. Um, I still need to bring med kits because I gotta do that. I got some plans left, so bring in basic brown med kit just because I want to get rid of it as fast as possible for this challenge. And also, I had resilience there at the end, so I was able to open the door and do all that stuff fast. But um, when I was doing that one super fast healing, I didn't have resilience because I wasn't injured. Um, let's see. I'm in this like funky section of my survivors where I don't have BT. Right here in the middle, nobody has BT. So last time I was playing with Resilience, Balance, Soul Guard, Small Game. Um, let's play it on Botany again. That was fun. That speed for that heal like was fun. <laughs> I, okay, I could have Resilience. Botany knowledge with a med kit in a boon. I'm assuming those, those all stack. So that's freaking awesome. Um, but I don't have, we'll make it. That would be even better. <laughs> uh, I think I'll leave Soul Guard on to be different though. All right, we'll just go with this. Oh, excuse me, hiccup. I love Soul Guard. I just hate that it takes. That doesn't take a lot to activate, obviously, but every time I play with it, I don't ever get to use it. Oh my goodness, there's a Yoichi in our match! Yoichi's so rare. I like Yoichi, and I don't see him very often. Last match, I don't even think my botany or any of that was level three. I think I had level one of stuff. Let's see, we've got about uh, an hour left of stream ish. Let's see if I can one hit Eerie three. I'm at four with three pips in. I also see if we can hit the one million blood point again. Normally, like last match, like normally I'd go play killer. Normally, we would. Play at Survivor Toy Survive, we'd go play the killer next, but I've had some survivor challenges I'm working on. And so I'm trying to get through those first before I go back and play killer. We had some fun killer matches today though. Trapper, thank you, Magic, again for redeeming that. I got adept. I didn't think it was oh, I'm the only one who played an offering. Well, that's the thing. Um, but I got adept trapper, which was the last killer I ever had to adept. And it was a fun match really didn't think I played good enough to adapt, but still fun. And the clown match was really fun too. Did we play any more? Was it just clown and... Yeah, because I didn't play the first few because I was just trying to warm up my day. I don't like playing killer too, too early in my stream because normally they don't go well. But I'm done. I'm so happy. Every killer is done with Adept. I had Trickster and Trapper left. And last stream we got Trickster, which thought that was going to be the last person I got. I thought I'd be able to somehow squeak out a Trapper one before Trickster. But thank you, DVD, for you're being so kind to me and giving me Adept on those. Well, I mean, I have to do the work. But I feel like with that Trapper match especially... I felt like the game was just kind to me for some reason. Ugh. 
this is an awkward gen. <laughs> Kate's over here doing the moonwalk. Trying to do the moonwalk, I think. Nope, she stopped. She was trying. She didn't do too bad either. Oh, that last match, I meant to look to see if the boons that were in play were both uh, Shadow Step and Circle healing. Because I think that's why that Nemesis lost lost me. Ooh, they've got blood flavor. It's not that one, though. Where are you going with them? Yoichi, stop! Stop! No! Don't go to second stage! Why? What? Can I heal? Fine. I'll leave you there to die. He wasn't gonna let me heal him! I got that UHE off and he just sat there and pointed at me. I'm gonna go do a gen then. I don't want to use my brown med kit on him. You want to fight a trickster? No. I like trickster. I will be honest. I love trickster. He's fun. If you get me in a match against trickster, I know you were trickster when we first played. I'm not good with running against him. I'm really bad running against trickster, but he's still fun. I really love hanging. Uh, hang love hanging. Trickster, I do. I I don't know. I don't know. If, my bad, sorry. I don't know if I want to get that UHG up. He tried to kill himself on hook, and he's gonna die now for it. And then when I got him off the hook, he just pointed at me and wouldn't let me heal him. So I don't think he wanted to play. Why log into a match if you don't want to play it? It's another blight. Like, I just don't get it when people give up on hook like that or anything. It's like, why did you even bother loading into the match? Hi, Taser! You're late today. I have no idea where Kate went down. Oh, she got off. Ooh, snap. Okay. Blood flavor is still up, but personally, it's not that big of a deal. I can't tell if he's on the second. Nia, the second floor or not. I think he's below us, though. Uh, what? What was that? I mean, I know what that noise usually means, but he ain't even around us! What if this is that same blight? Uh, that I had earlier.
I don't know how Kate keeps getting off his shoulders. I didn't notice if the Nia had a flashlight or not. But I'm gonna do my chin. Have a good old time. I haven't got... Actually, I kind of want to keep Blood Flavor in... In the match, because I have Soul Guard. And it's not a big deal. It's like it's not Ruin or anything, I don't think. No. It's not a big deal. It's just you won't be able to um, throw pallets at times. But isn't it Soul Guard? Doesn't it activate if there's a Hex in play, right? Oh, Kate didn't have. She didn't have adrenaline, unfortunately. Well, I don't want to activate my balance to though. I do not have BT. But I can get you some fast heals. Frick. Nope. I got you. This Nia has VT. Perfect, 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 perfect. Damn, I was training him to see me. Uh, it's for him to see me so that he would chase me and then those two could leave, but. Go, 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 Don't worry, Nia, I will come back for you. Nope, nope, nope. Damn it. he would leave and he did not I double pipped to the Dia in that match I am so sorry I wanted to come back for you so bad that Yoichi had 3,000 points hopefully did she have no she wouldn't have been even had it uh, I was thinking DS but she uh, it would have probably deactivated What's going on? Oh. I really, really feel bad. Like, when I leave a survivor behind like that, when I tried so hard that match to get them, it 
hurts. It hurts. And I was trying to get the Kate to the door. I was trying to get her out. And then hopefully not. He wasn't going to hit me. And then I was going to swim back in and get the Kate. Or not Kate. Excuse me. Nia. Sadly, I didn't have DS. Or not DS. Uh, BT to really help. Nobody had BT. God, BT is so rare, I feel like, lately. Uh, he had Blood Flavor. Oh, he had Undying. Okay. Sloppy Butcher. Because what I wanted to do is I wanted to swoop back around. Hopefully he would leave. And if he downed me, it wouldn't have been a big deal. Because I think my Soul Guard would have activated. While cursed by a hex, you can fully recover from the dying state. And there was a hex in play, because I think Undying and Blood Flavor were still out there. And I couldn't! I got too close to the door! Oh well. Sorry, B, I tried. GG's though. Match was great, except for the Yoichi. I got my bed kit depleted. Even better. And I got to Eerie 3. Alright, but we're done with Jeff. Let's go play Jane. Does she have BT? Oh, thank God. We played her earlier, so I should have known what she has, but I wasn't sure. Uh, Overzealous, Balanced, Adrenaline, Borrow Time. This is like one of my favorite builds right now. If Overzealous isn't in the match, which I don't need to do gens. But I don't have will make it. Um, normally I'd put on I don't have botany knowledge either. I would probably put on botany knowledge, but I kinda need to get the med kits done with. So having them be a little more efficient isn't helping me in my challenge. And I don't have will make it. Okay. Do you play with other viewers? Not normally, no. I'm I'm normally just a solo cure. I have a bit of social anxiety, so when it comes to playing with people, oh, there's three flashlights in this game. <laughs> there's three, thrash, three flashlights in this match. Guaranteed this killer is either leaving us or he's bringing Franklin's or Lightform. But I have a bit of social anxiety, so it's really hard for me to play with other people. Like, even if I've known you forever and we're um, great friends, I still struggle. And I don't mind solo queue. Like, some people hate solo queue, and I totally get it. It's rough on days, but I don't mind it. Like, in that last instance. Those survivors, that Kate, not Nia, amazing. They were great players. Yoichi, I don't know what his problem was. You'll get a bad one here and there, but... What's the date? A toolbox. Six. Okay. Please be a toolbox. Let's go. It's toolbox. Oh, you can have that. That's empty. <laughs> Thank you, Brad, for the shout out. Uh, she picked it up and tried to use it. <laughs> is it wrong? That, or not wrong, but is it weird that every once in a while, I'll just randomly think of that song I was singing there and I don't even know what it is. Like the other day I was doing something and I just was like, please be a toolbox. I'm like, I don't even know where it came from. But anyways, as I was saying, uh, it's the sixth. So I've got, what, a week? Almost, almost. Almost awake until rank reset. So, I am at Eerie 3. It's, I don't know how high I've ever gotten. Uh, I might have gotten to Eerie 3 before when I wasn't playing on stream. But, I think on stream this is the highest I've ever been. I have focused a little bit more on Survivor lately because um, challenges and then also um, with the anniversary event, I kind of focused more on Survivors. But, I, I don't really don't get this high on killers. Eerie 3 is definitely an accomplishment for me. Because I play a little bit killer here and there. and Usually I can get up to like silver killer 
Oh, hi, Nancy. But I am only in the bronze. That shows you how much I have not played. It's another nemesis. So I'm going to leave in case he's using them to track me. Let's get rid of this. the blood points for me like with the ranks it's more about like an accomplishment yes blood points coming with it would be so sweet but i would like to get as high in the ranks of survivor to be like i did it hmm hmm he's over there the only reason i ran away from that gen is because nemesis having played him before um i like to use zombies for detection well that was unfortunate do i have balance yes ow i got stuck on a rock bye that's only gonna buy me so much time That's fine. <laughs> Stuck on some tires. <laughs> oh, frick! I thought I could get away fast enough. I was just gonna drop the pal- Frick of people with our loud cars that live here. I was gonna drop the pallet and then I was gonna loop that. I just didn't have as much time as I thought I had. I appreciate you, N Nia. Oh, and other Nia. Oh good, he didn't tunnel me. But thank goodness this Nia also had BT! That's been very rare today! No offense to anybody, I'm getting rid of this med kit because it's a challenge. Both gens around me are being worked on, it sounds like. I appreciate- if you're the one with the flashlight trying to save me, I appreciate you. Okay, you guys are doing that gen? Oh, well, damn. You finished this gen, too. All right, I'm gonna run. Where is she? Where did she go down? Oh, back there, okay. Did someone open this? No, okay, I'm gonna open this real quick. I'll be right there! Everyone was in the general area, so yeah. I thought they'd probably get there. Let's go. It's a brown med kit. Why did someone drop their flashlight? <gasps> Does he? No, he doesn't have Franklin's because I didn't lose my med kit, so never mind. I don't want to do this, Jen. Reason being is um, we've done most of the gens over there, so I need to go over here. And do this one. Uh, well, Mr. Zombie's here. Maybe I can get him to come for me and then they'll... Oh! Well, there's a Neo over here. Oh, good. He's stuck on some tires. You're almost done. There you go. 
Freaking zombies, I swear. Wait a minute! We only have one gen done? Why did I think we had only one gen left? <laughs> my bad! Oh my god, I thought we had... I thought we had one gen left. Okay. Okay, sorry, my bad. Oh my god, that gen is dead. <laughs> that that zombie's camp in the gen. Come on. No, Nia, over here. You want to do a gen? I'll heal you. <laughs> I hate that. I never know if they want to be healed or not. Because sometimes I don't want to be healed when I got resilience. Oops, sorry. Uh, I'm all about don't heal me. I'll be fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're not done. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about that, Nia. I hate when I do that. Just saying, I don't think we're escaping this match. I think we are doomed. We have four gens left and everybody but this Nia with me and me are on death hook. Okay, good, 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 good. Follow me. I'm not going to be able to loop you, but that's okay. Slow ball that. Okay, I'm leaving. Go in here. What? No! Look how- Well, it's Nemesis. I thought I should have been able to get away from that bow. Oh, bye. Yeah, he's not gonna do that. Man, I really thought I was gonna be able to get away from that. I was gonna go upstairs, activate balance, and get lost. I was really expecting him to come around the front of the house, not the, the back of it. Oh great, I got a camping zombie. No, zombie, get lost! Ow. So that Nia better be careful. The zombie's gonna pop around the corner. Ah, oh, no! That was so rude! That zombie! I wish that Nia was in my uh, chat. I could've warned her the zombie was lurking by the corner. That's so unfortunate. Is this basement? See if there's a med kit down here. I gotta clip that. That was hilarious, though. I mean, I feel bad for that Nia, but that was funny. No, oh, what is going on? Frick, let's go. Oh my god! What happened all of a sudden? Okay, 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 I got this. Let me get healed. Let me get healed. I can only save one of you. Oh no, that Nia's gonna die. No! I'm a horrible teammate! Nia! No, I just wanted to get healed. Oh, is he, is he gonna Mori? What is he doing?
What is he doing? What does Nancy want? Are we farming now? Uh, I don't know what's going on. Do you want heals? I'll just heal you, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I think the nemesis is as confused as I am. I went to the basement to heal, and I was like, cool! I'm gonna heal in the basement! And I feel bad I didn't get that knee. I'm gonna do this gen, I guess? I don't know. I'm just gonna do my do my best, I guess. Cause all of a sudden now he's kind of farming. Maybe he got his challenge done. I've done that before. I don't know what Nancy's doing. She's totally gone. <laughs> I'm gonna go do the gen over here, I guess. Alright! I have a feeling that he was going for a challenge, got it done, and now he's farming. Because he was doing a really good job. He was really playing well. We had four gens left. Everybody was on death hook. Okay. Resident ghost just struck again. Mom was in bathroom, door opens, then closes again. Mom was on toilet. Oops. Curry in bathtub, Elfie on upstairs. Elfie on upstairs landing, me in my room, nobody else in the house. Oh, snap, yup. Freaking, I personally would love a ghost in my house. <laughs> I don't know why, I just would. I think it would be kind of cool. Freaky at first, because I'm sure I wouldn't know what was going on, but then I'd be like, my friend, the ghost, whatever I would name him. All right, well, I guess I'll go do this gen. Oh, there's a zombie over here, though. This zombie loves these tires. I know you're lurking back there. I really feel bad for that Nia, but I don't know. I needed that for overzealous. Thank you for taking care of that zombie, Nemi. She was looking at me kind of funny. <laughs> I like this Nemi! He's fine! Like I said, he must have just finished his challenge and it's like, cool, let's farm now. And I'm like, cool, all right. It's always really confusing at first though, but I'm happy we're farming now. Zombie came back alive over there. Gotta keep my eye out. Excuse me. No. 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 Sneak around the corner, though. Okay, down the Nia. Maybe they're asking for it. I don't know. Like, they're over there saying, you know, put me on the hook. Okay. <laughs> and 
And he's going around just hitting zombies. Well, I'll go pick up this Nia. I don't know if there's any more boxes. I think I finished my challenge, though. Then he opened the door. Okay. Let me get these heels in here. Hey! I was almost done! There you go. I don't know where Nancy went. I'm taking this nice flashlight somebody had. I'm looking to see if there's a totem. No? Okay. Oh, I was injured! I know he opened that door! But I'm gonna go over here and open this one for extra points. Oh! Mind control! There's a- there's apparently a glitch when, uh, you've got Nemesis' goo on you. That, uh, you open these with your mind. I'm doing this for points! Oh. Oh. Can I heal? Oh! <gasps> Slug race? Wait, no! Come back here! Come back here! Slug race! Uh, come on! It'd be just me and Nia, though! Oh, fine. Nia doesn't want to do a slug race. Oh, man, it would be creepy to have a ghost on top of you in just general. <laughs> But I think ghosts would be fun. And we've seen the human ghost walk into the bathroom and walk past the window in Megan's bedroom. Snap. Nice. <laughs> Love it. As long as there ain't no mean ghost or nothing. I'm all for it. Just walk around doing their thing. I've seen that glitch. It was awesome opening the door with my mental powers. That's like that's the second time today I've seen it, but that's the first time I have seen it. Um, earlier in a match against Nemesis, it, I had it happen, and I've never seen it. I honestly don't get a lot of Nemesis players, so I haven't actually experienced it because of that, but I love it. I don't mind it. I don't mind being able to open the door uh, with my mind. It's kind of fun. Well, GG's Nemi. I really don't know why. At the end, you um, didn't play the game anymore, but I appreciate it. It was still fun. I just kind of assumed they finished their challenge and then they're on their way to their next match. What time is it? I think we have enough time for one more match. It's kind of early, so I don't want to end yet. But I finished my challenge. Um, I got three bed kits done in that match. So my next challenge is blind the killer 12 times. So I'm gonna bring flashlights and hope that I can get a blind maybe like out of pallet, but I'm probably gonna try flashbangs and um, ba -ba 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 blast mines probably more. So we escaped as Jane, we're on Ash. I don't know, Ash probably doesn't have these items though. <gasps> he does have blast mine, okay. So let's take out Kindred. Does he have flashbang? No. Okay, so he doesn't have flashbang. But I could bring a flashlight and hope that I can get this. I have 11 yellows. Why not? So overzealous. Oh, we're going to live forever? I don't have. Dang it. Then I have BT. What a non. Oh, were you the nanny? I felt bad because everyone started to give up. Oh no! Did everyone? Did the other people give up? Because I wasn't giving up. I wasn't. But I don't know what the other players were doing because I'm so low key. So I don't know. Maybe they were giving up. I don't know. But I thought you played really good. But also GGs. Yeah, James, you. So pretty it's orange outside i love when it's orange outside if it's for a good reason <laughs> you know what i mean living in california but no there were two people that wanted to oh well 
it's okay. I mean, I understand. I just was kind of confused for like a little bit because I was like, the match was I thought going so in your favor, like you were doing freaking amazing. And I went to the basement to get a med kit because I was going to heal myself and then I was going to run back and I was going to get the neon hook and unfortunately I didn't have as much time as I thought. And then the other two people went down and I'm just like, oh no, I gotta go get them! And you were letting them go and I thought maybe you finished the challenge so you're just like, okay, I'm done. Go ahead, continue because I do that sometimes. If I'm going for a certain challenge, I'll be like, I got it, I'm good, you guys can leave, you know, and whatever, but... Sometimes, yeah, people will give up in a match. I don't know why. I don't really know why, but it's sad. I really feel bad when people give up in a match. I have no exhaustion perks that I like. I guess dead hard? I don't like riding with dead hard, but it's okay. Overzealous dead hard, adrenaline blast mine, sure. Why the killer 12 times? No, but let's go. But nonetheless, GG's, I had, a, I had a fun match. I thought it was going s not in our favor, but I was still having a good time. You were doing an awesome job, and I really thought, like, you were doing a really good job at keeping everybody off gens, getting them down, making the save. That's the point of the game. So, GG's. Best thing I, all I ever saw in a game was Brad breaking Legion. I think I saw that. Wasn't there a clip of that or something? Because I remember you guys talking about it, but I can't remember if I saw it or not. All right, this is probably our last match of the day, depending on how it goes. Why is there no sound for... There's... Why did my sound go out? Oh, I hit the, oh my God, I'm an idiot. Sorry, there was sound. I hit the volume control on my earphones, my bad. Don't worry about me, I'm dumb. I didn't even feel myself hit the, the controller. That's good, I'm glad you were having fun. Yeah, I was having a blast. I thought, I thought the match was going great. Yeah, I was pretty sure we weren't gonna get out of the match because four gens, everybody was like on second hook almost and I'm like oh this killer's got us they're doing an awesome job and then when the Nia died and then it you stopped I was like oh maybe they finished their challenge that's cool whatever you know I don't mind if you want to farm and all that that's cool too I thought it was a fun match nonetheless and you were doing awesome like I don't I don't get sour if matches don't go my way or whatever, I'm just out there to have fun. And if the killer is doing an awesome job, go for it, man. I play killer too, so. No, don't come over here. I need my blast mine to activate. Go away. Go away. I need my blast mine to activate. I have a flashlight, but I have no good with them. No, hillbilly, why me? Sir! Wait! Wait! That shouldn't have hit me! That probably should have hit me. I was not paying attention. Why did you go for me? Quit! It was right there! That was horrible running. I'm sorry. I was trying to get around the corner, and it did not work. <laughs> I don't think it was clipped. I feel like I saw something once, but it might not have been that. It might not have been that. I remember you guys talking about Brad breaking a legion once, though. I think Demi is a pretty decent killer, almost overpowering sometimes. I've won the last five or so games, so I'm like, I'm being too brutal. Oh, I don't think you're being brutal at all. Nemi can be a really powerful killer if you know how to run, you know, how to use him. I, I don't play Nemi very often, like I play killer, but not him very often, and I'm no good with him. Not at all. But if you know how to work him with his power, his tearing up and all that, that kill Nemesis can be a really bad killer in ways of he's good. I 
Nice! I like I like those stats. Five games or so. Nice. As long as you're playing fair, I don't see a problem. Like you're not tunneling anybody. You're playing fair. It's a fair game. Okay, he's probably gonna get me here. Yep, but I wanted him to kick the- Go kick my gen! Don't touch my gen- Oh, you touched my gen with the blast fight. Damn it! I'm not playing very well because I'm focusing on my blast fight and all that. Unfortunately. Oh wait, never mind. Never mind. I, I forgot how blast mine work. My bad. Never mind. Forget everything I just said. <laughs> I don't play with it very often, I forgot. You also play well? Well thank you. I appreciate that. I try. I try. I'm not a very good survivor. I'm not a very good survivor, and this is showing that I'm not very good. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm focusing way too much on getting this trap and cell. That's my problem. Because if he comes back this way, I'm doing it again. Nope. Oh, there he is. Well, no offense. I ain't going for that save because I'm on death hook. Oh, no. I'm on death hook, so I'm not gonna really be able to get to them, I don't think. I'm gonna try. Oof! Frick that! Well, I'm a dead. Because he's after me. Uh. Yep. Nobody's going after that poor person on the hook! Oh, someone got there, okay. Why am I able to run him so all of a sudden? Oh, I had a flashlight! Frick that! I had a flashlight. This is not a loop I want to be taking, but... Yeah, that's fine. I ran him for a while, so... Not a loop I wanted to be taking, and I forgot I had a flashlight in my hand. I could have blinded him, but... I give him credit. I give him credit. He didn't stop the chase. Um, I, went, I read this in a few minutes ago, but I got into a chase. Mason went from an angelic toddler to a klepto child who steals book from his elementary school. What? A poor toddler? What happened in his life that he had to turn to klepto? <laughs> I always love when that happens, though, when your sims go from, like, an angelic toddler to then, like, this mischievous child and or, like, adult in the future, and it's like, what happened to you? I de-pipped for that. Well, that sucks. That sucks. I was having... I was ha... With that name. I was having trouble running him, but I was doing a good job there toward the end. Not good enough. And I give him credit. He stuck with me. I don't know how long I ran him for. Like, I don't know what gens were being done. But GG's! 
Uh, it was a fun match, though. I didn't get to blind him at all. <laughs> Not once did I blind my killer, and I forgot I had was holding a flashlight because I don't run with them very often. I was too focused at the beginning to get my blast mine uh, activated, so that kind of hurt me in the beginning. But look who's shitting in the tall grass. Sure. Uh, but yeah, that's okay. That not the greatest way to end stream, but not a horrible match. That hillbilly did a good job. I can't say nonetheless. The joys of picking random traits, right? Yep. I never ever pick traits for my Sims. I always do random because I think it's more interesting to see what combination I can get. I miss the mod that there used to be out there that was um, it, it, no one's updated in forever, and I haven't been able to find a mod since that um, doesn't even let you pick them traits. It just automatically gives them to you along with an aspiration and everything. And it was so nice. Like they would just age up and boom, had it. I didn't have to like do a randomizer. I didn't have to do a random roll for aspirations or none of that. It was such a nice mod, but it hasn't been updated in forever and it doesn't work. So I don't know if there's another one out there, but it's unfortunate. Yes, it is that time already. It is six o'clock. I could probably go for one more match, but I do have to go make dinner and such. So instead of pushing it and accidentally having a super long match, I'm gonna call it there because one, I'm right at a million blood points. I'm at 996. So uh, if I did another one, I'd have to spend points for a minute. Two, I got to Eerie 3. Super proud of myself. Um, I de-pipped that last match, but it's okay. It's whatever. Uh, Hillbilly was doing a fine job, and I give him credit. He stuck with me during that awkward chase. And um, overall, we just we did good today. We even got um, almost to the end of Tome the current tome level four it expires in i think like 13 hours so if you guys are trying to get to the end of the rift if you have not got so got done so whatever words you know what i mean if you have not done it by now you got 13 hours so you got some time um i'm done with the rift so i was just kind of doing this for funsies and i'll probably keep up with this one until i get to the end because uh why not there's no other reason to so I'll probably just do that. Um, but we're going to go find someone to raid. And I appreciate you guys all being here. It was a really fun day. A couple matches iffy. But you know what? Nonetheless, it was fun. We did the main thing we wanted to do. Almost a million blood points. Almost. Right. Well, no. We got to level three. And we did pretty good in the current tome. So, um, so for those of you who are new here. um, oh, pff, Get rid of this hillbilly one. Okay. I can do that next time. Um, normally, I would stream on Friday. We would be Variety Friday. Um, but... I have to take Baba to her appointment on Friday, so I oh, I keep doing that. I don't know if I'll squeak in an afternoon stream of a variety game or not. It just kind of depends on how my Friday has gone, if how I don't know what time her appointment is, if it's a late one or not, and then all that. So um, if you guys are not part of my Discord, I will update you guys there for sure. If you guys need the link to my Discord, it is right there for you guys. If you want to join, just as a fair warning, if you do want to join, Sometimes the bot will ask you or a bot will ask you to verify your account just to keep our discord safe and make sure that we're not letting in Any bots into our discord and stuff like that. So um, just be aware of that And if you ever need anything my DMS are open You can DM me or a mod and they will help you through the verification process if you need so um, But that might be the end of streams for me for this week if I can't fit one in on Friday if that's the case I will be back on Monday more dead by daylight and I guess we'll just be working our way through old tomes because the tome ends today. Rift tome. Um, I don't know when the next one comes out. It's supposed to be in July, according to their map they put out a couple months or not months, a couple weeks ago. So new Rift tome will be opening soon. Just no word yet on when or even a what. We kind of knew that um, this current tome was going to be Twins and David, but there's been nothing about the new one coming out so that's kind of nice it might be a big surprise and i'm looking forward to that but right now we're gonna go find someone to raid see what we got or who we got not what we got who do we got online oh i know who i want to raid we just met this person let's see i don't know how long they've been on oh only 30 minutes Perfect. Perfect. So we just met this person on a raid recently, and they're a sweetheart. 
And I kind of want to go get them to love and show them the love from Skelly Town. We met them through a different raid. So, um, and they've been in our chat before. But we're going to go give them the love from Skelly Town. And uh, meet them again if you guys have not met them. They are currently playing DVD. So, we're going to raid the Snack King. Like I said, they're playing DVD right now. Looks like they're playing with viewers. I don't know if they're playing with viewers or just friends. So, if you do want to play with them, you have to ask because I don't know. But we're going to go give them the raid and the love from Skelly Town and show them what it is like to be a part of our community because they've been here before and we met them through a Blossom raid last week sometime. I can't remember what it was, but we met them recently. If you guys are sub to the channel, please copy paste the second raid command that Brad put in chat for you guys if you are not. The first one works just as good and shows the same amount of love. And let's go give all of this love to the Snack King, who, like I said, is playing Dead by Daylight and has playing uh has playing is playing survivor and it looks like they're playing with friends so looks like their lobby is full so never mind all that but let's go give all the love and support to them thank you guys again so much for joining me i hope you guys have a lovely rest of your week if i do not see you here on stream i will be in discord here and there throughout the week um if i don't get on on friday but thanks again guys for everything i hope you have a lovely week and if i don't see you this friday have a great weekend as well and hopefully I'll see you guys on Monday. Thank you again for everything and bye bye